Hello, hello, hello. How are you doing today, Bro Conky? Hope you're doing well. <laughs> no, I just decided I would start it with the patron names this time, you know, because why not? This way people know that you're all the ones, in case they don't make it all the way through the video when they're watching it later, they can see the people's names first before they see the video. I think that's not a bad little way of doing it. How are you doing? We're just starting. We're just starting, and that's because I'm, like, super fucking far behind the ball on this one. It's the 12th of the month. I haven't even sent out the promo codes for the website yet. Um, I mean, you guys know. Those of you who are in the Discord or on Patreon uh, or follow me on Twitter probably know. Um, I've been dealing with some family stuff the last week or so. Uh, we had to put our cat down on Monday. Um, and it's hitting Sharla really hard, uh, you know, and not just Sharla, it's hitting me hard as well. Um, so it's been, it's been a hectic couple of weeks this month because we sort of knew it was coming. Um, we've known it was coming for a while, but like last week was really bad, uh, with the cat's health, which is sort of way we made the decision. Like it has to be this week. Um, I called them Monday thinking that they would not be able to fit us in until Tuesday, and they were like, no, we can come today, and, I, and it sort of caught me off guard, because I wasn't ready, <laughs> um, so, you know, it was a little bit harder for me, because I thought I was going to get one more night uh, with her, um, but you know how it goes. Knowing and happening are different things. That's right, Bob. That's right. You're working around 50 hours a week. Your job is okay, but the pay is crap. Oof, that's rough. That's rough. So I didn't give anyone really a heads up that I was doing this tonight. So if people are out and about or didn't know this was going on, you know how it goes. Hopefully some people will trickle in as the night goes on. I know I also started this pretty late. I normally try to start a little earlier. I'm not working this week. I booked the week off work just because of what happened at the beginning of the week. So um, basically I'm off tomorrow so I don't have to get up so I figured you know I'll start it I actually started getting ready to do this around like 7 30 and it's taken me an hour and a half to get everything organized and <laughs> ready to go because I was super far behind on everything um hey Matt how's it going so anyway we've got everybody here I've got Kyra Kyra Twilight's Eve uh sorry Twi yeah Twilight's Eve Tice G uh Raphael Matt N Tom uh, MTG Unpacked, Tyler B, Honoresis, Paws Brown, Heather, uh, Bro Conky, Gordon, uh, Connor, Jordan W, Kitchen Fink, Joseph Y, Chris M, uh, Father Frodo, Logan B, Greg L, Sam M, uh, Kyle T, Rick C, Matt W, Kazan, uh, Matt S, Mike V, Tony W, Brad, uh, Carl, Eric, Peter and Jonathan. And then we have our newest patron right here, Mr. Ken F. Uh, welcome aboard, Ken. Um, so you'll get your grab bag this month, but you don't get the extra pull this month because the first month is always without a pull. Essentially, the extra pulls are for the people who stay, essentially, is the idea. So next month, you'll get a pull from the patron pile in addition to your grab bag. Uh, but the first month, you don't get one. So that's how that works. Um, and I have to pull a few people out here because I know, let me just find them here. I've got to find a way. I don't think it was Greg. I think it was Carl and Eric. Let me just make sure it was Carl and Eric, I think. Is that correct? I think so. Let me just pull up my Patreon thing here. Uh, where are we here? This one. It goes there. Um, and Raphael, thank you so much. Um, 
me and uh, Sharla have been, you know, crumbling together as best we can. You know, that's what I've been saying um, to most people who ask, you know, how we're doing. And I'm like, look, you know, we're doing as good as we can be in the situation. Right. Um, the cat had been with Sharla for the last 19 years almost. Um, she got the cat when she was 16. So it's a big deal for her. Um, for me, it, the cat's been living with me for about almost nine years now. So it's a pretty big deal for me as well. Um, anyway, it's just, it's not great. Anyway, um, so the reason I pulled out Carl and Eric is because I need to write something on their cards. So Eric is now a times two, uh, but he is a times two foil. And so is Carl. So uh, what this is, is these guys have signed up for the patron tier that I made up, which was, it's essentially one grab bag normal. So you get two rares, a foil, a common, six pulls from the bulk, and then you get 10 foils and a, and a common, uncommon, worth a dollar or more. So uh, you don't get the rares and you don't get the bulk in the foil grab bags, but you get 10 foils. Um, so they're going to essentially be walking away with 11 foils total. Two rares, or mythics, so on and so forth. Um, so here we go. Um, anyway, so that's... Uh, I've added them there now so that I remember that they get foil stuff. One regular grab bag, one foil grab bag. I'm making everything super more complicated for myself, but you know how it goes. Maybe I'm going to have to start, like, breaking the grab bag video up somehow into, like, doing... You know, the regular grab bags, the double grab bags, whatever, in separate videos or something. I don't know. Man, I gotta try to figure out a way to organize it better for myself. But the problem is, is that I want to do the patron pulls from the pile all at once. So maybe, like, the patron pull pile is all one, and then I separate everybody out, and then I do the other stuff after that on different days or different videos or whatever. I don't know. It's... It's something I have to experiment with. Um, if you didn't see the video today either, the Thursday video, I did talk about something that Greg, uh, Greg L, our patron Greg L, commented on about wanting to have a tier on Patreon for um, the Thursday shuffle packs. Um, as I mentioned in the video, it's kind of difficult because some of the packs are worth, you know, more than the standard packs. And I'd have to try to figure out, like, what to make the tier... So that everybody who's in it doesn't feel like they're getting robbed blind at the chance of getting a pack that may just end up being a standard pack, which is not ideal. Um, so I'm still trying to figure that out. Rick C. sent me a note on Patreon. And... Um... Mentioned that maybe I could do like a one time uh, thing where it's like everybody like... I put the the pack values up, I say, like, this is what you have to do to buy into that pack slot. And so if we open, essentially, then we, like, assign the packs to the people who pay in for those packs. And then if they get opened on the Thursday, that pack gets mailed to that patron. And it's not, like, a monthly reoccurring price on Patreon. It's, like, a one-time, like, you know, you want your name on, like, the Time Spiral pack that I put in or whatever, right? Here's how much it was. This is how much you have to pay. Um, for the shipping in addition to the pack, and then if I open it on Thursday, you get whatever was in it, right? Something along those lines, um, which is an interesting way of doing it. Um, I think it just makes it more into, like, sort of, like, microtransactions, which maybe I'm not super keen on doing and organizing and keeping track of, because then I, you know, if certain people are, like, if, if I have, like, four or five people that are, like, hey, I want that pack that you have, right, then how do I figure out who gets it, right? Or do I go out and buy more? But, like, I am kind of want to keep the Thursday series in, in sort of, like, the sense of it's still random packs. So, it shouldn't be, like, repeats of the same packs regardless of how old they are. Do you know what I mean? So, like, I don't know. It's just, it's a weird, it's a weird situation to be in. I, I like the interest. I appreciate the interest. Um, and, I, and I would love to get the packs out to you guys. Uh, if you're if you want them 
Um, but that's sort of like another reason why I put the tiers on Patreon for the Moz packs. So if people want like older packs, there is a Moz tier for $10 and there's a Moz tier for $25. I basically just take that money, go to Moz, and uh, buy packs of that, you know, up to that dollar value. And by that I mean like my, maybe I buy two, maybe I buy three, maybe I just buy a whole bunch of standard depending on what, you, what you're feeling like, right? And that's why those tiers are there, right? For people to do that kind of thing. So, anyway. Um, we've shuffled up the pile. The pile's pretty big this month. You may also notice that the... I've restocked this substantially. I actually just went out to uh, my local LGS and I picked through a whole bunch of their, like, bulk... Uh, like, boxes like this that they have of just stuff laying around that hadn't been sorted yet and I pulled out a whole bunch of stuff that was like worth a dollar or more and then they charged me for it of course uh, but they gave me a bit of a discount which was nice um, just because I essentially organized it all for them and then bought it all <laughs> so they kind of gave me a little bit of a deal um, so that worked out well so I've restocked this there's some really good stuff in here now like <laughs> like I put cards in here that are like I should say, the average cost of the cards I added to this was probably about 5 to $6. So, like, I did add a few, like, 1 and 2s, but I also added some that were, like, 10 to 12 So, the, the common uncommon slot now has spicier stuff in it. Let's just say that. I think that's a good way of putting it. Is everybody still here? We're all good. We're get ready to kick it. Charlotte's not with me tonight, otherwise she would be doing this part right now. Oh, snap! Hey, Rick. Thank you so much for that $10. I really appreciate it. My goodness, you didn't have to do that. What's this nonsense? Grab bags? Like the one, like the kind I have in my shopping cart? I mean, maybe? Do you have some in your shopping cart? Alright, Tyler B. is walking away with that extended art labyrinth of Skophos. Uh, seeing play in standard right now in like, uh, there's like a weird green-black deck I've seen running around in standard at the moment, and it's running this land, which is interesting. We've got Tice. Tice is walking away with that Knight of the Ebon Legion. Very good. Nice little uh, standard playable knight right there. Hey, MTG Herman, how's it going? Jonathan. Jonathan's walking away with that Foil Wayfarer's Bobble. There you go, Jonathan. Very nice. I think Jonathan told me he wanted a b bundle of Theros this week as well. Brad. Brad's walking away with that lightning helix. There it is. All right. Carl. Carl's walking away with that foil hushbringer. There it is. Congratulations to you folks right there. Who's next? Eric. Eric's walking away with a Quirion druid. I need to shuffle this a little better, it looks like. Let's see. You know, is it easier for me to just do this? So I have no idea where anybody is. Because I'm seeing that the uh, all the twos are coming out in a row. So let's just shuffle this all up here. And you know what? If all of you here think that you would rather me shuffle your names back in. And if you're here, let me know. And I will shuffle your name back into the pile. Okay. I feel like I should have just I should just restart the whole thing, right? But I don't want to like take away pulls from anybody who got them. You know, like if they were happy with their pull, right? Cuz like Eric's getting a Quirion Druid with a Wellwisher. Carl's getting that Foil Hushbringer. I don't know. I'm just going to I'm just going to keep going. We're just going to keep going. I shuffled this up. There's Carl. Hey Carl. Tom. Tom's walking away with the Factor Fiction. Who's next? Joseph. Walking away with a foil whirlwind denial. There you go. Nice little counterspell and standard at the moment. Logan. Logan's walking away with that extra extrapate. What happened? Nothing. I just noticed that I was getting all of like the, the two times grab bag people together, so obviously I hadn't shuffled the pile properly. So I just reshuffled it, but I had a few people drawn already, so I just kind of like was like, eh, maybe I should put them back in, and then I was like, no, I'm not going to do it. I just shuffled the pile. This is just how it is. Kairu Kairu, walking away with that. Kunaros, Hound of Athreos, Foil. 
So that's like a nice foil one. Very nice. Who's up next? Matt S. Matt S is walking away with that Garrick. Ooh. Spicy Planeswalker. There you go, Matt. Congratulations. Paws Brown. Walking away with that Finale of Promise. That's a nice little red mythic right there. Lots of fun to play with that one. The finales are always fun. Kitchen Fink. He's walking away with that Extended Art Feasting Troll. Noise. Noise. Gordon. Gordon's walking away with that Mind Slaver. There you go. Nice original Mirrodin rare right there. Who doesn't like taking their opponent's turn for them? Father Frodo. Walking away with that Beast Within. There it is. Matt W. Was walking away with that Vigor. Vigor's a great card. I love playing with Vigor. This card really messes with people's math. Rick! Rick, you're here. What's Rick walking away with? Ooh, an Altar of Dementia! Sorry, Rick, I didn't mean to, like, you know, drive it home or anything for you there. But, uh, sorry, but, I mean, Altar of Dementia's a great card. Raphael is walking away with that Animate Dead. And that's a, uh, fourth edition. Fourth edition? Yeah, fourth edition Animate Dead. Maybe 5th edition? Could be 5th edition. Because it's 1997, so probably 5th edition. Tony! Tony's walking away with that Shield of the Oversoul. That's a nice little uh, common aura right there. Very nice. <laughs> it's okay, I know I'm nuts and I fully accept it. Don't worry, Rick, I'm right there with you. Heather! Heather's walking away with that Ashiok, Sculptor of Fears. That it, now, that, to note, is the non-foil version of the Planeswalker deck uh, from Theros. Interesting thing I've heard, don't know if this is confirmed or not, um, but I have heard that they're doing away with the Planeswalker decks. They're not going to be making them anymore. Kyle T, walking away with a nice counterspell. Don't know if that's true or not, but that is a thing I have heard. Twilight's Eve. Walking away with that. Ooh, is that foil? Or is it just a normal? Just a normal. But that is an alternate art Kiora. Very nice. Very, very nice. Greg. Greg is walking away with that Love Struck Beast with. The Lucky Clover foil. I figured those two were fitting. Lucky Clover seeing a lot of play in standard right now, and Love Struck Beast also seeing play in standard. Together, I might add. Peter. You opened your Masters 25 since box prices are stupid low these days and pull the foil Jace. <laughs> That's pretty sweet, Carl. Can't complain about that. Peter. Walking away with a nice Westvale Abbey. There it is. Who doesn't like to transmute a land into a giant flying demon? Broke Honky, walking away with a Gigantosaurus. Big old stompy green. You like green, right, Broke Honky? I feel like I feel like you and I have had this conversation a few times. And that you are like, just, uh, you're a green player at heart, right? I'm pretty sure that's what you told me. Honorisus is walking away with a nice Essence Warden from, what is that? Planar Chaos? Planar Chaos. Very nice. <laughs> Fuck no. <laughs> I know, Broke Honky, I know. Chris M., Chris M is walking away with that Test of Endurance. Really cool alternate win con right there. So at the beginning of your upkeep, if you have 50 or more life, you win the game. Very cool. You're building a mill deck? Nice. Connor. Connor M is walking away with that sweet John Avon forest. And a needle drop from Lorowin. So there you go, Connor. Congratulations on that one. Who's next? Sam. Sam's walking away with that foil Temple of Enlightenment with the stamp on it. That is the foil stamped Temple of Enlightenment. Came out of one of the promo packs. Very nice. And Jordan. Jordan's walking away with that uh, Divert from Odyssey with a nice Opt from Invasion. So there you go. Very nice. John Avon's your favorite artist? Nice. He's one of my favorite as well. Uh, Kazan. Kazan's walking away with that foil dragon tempest. Very nice. I, I didn't realize this used to be a rare, right? So because it used to be a rare and it got reprinted as an uncommon in, in Iconic, the foil of this is worth like 4 or $5. 
<laughs> the regular copy of it is worth like like 50 cents or 70 cents or something like that. Mike V almost made it. Two people left. Mike V getting that dawn of hope right there. Who's up next? Matt N. Walking away with that. Ooh, foil mountain from Theros. Very nice. You got a box coming? Mmm. Boom! MTG Unpacked won, won the grand prize. He's not even here. He's not even here. Quick, someone tweet at him. Quick, someone message him. Tell him he won the grand prize. And to come make a pick or forever lose his pick to fate. <laughs> That's how this works, right? Don't tell him, Steve. <laughs> All right, well. Okay, chat, do you guys want to pick for him, or should I roll a die? What do you guys think? We would need a D4, which I have here. I guess we could, we should roll a D8, right, since it's easier to read. So we can roll a D8. Go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Right, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Give him number two, so this one. What do you think? Should we just roll? We just roll for it? Okay, chat doesn't want to pick. Chat doesn't want to get blamed. I get it. Two. This one. Right? Because we said one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right? We're all we're all in agreement here? Sure, Carl, we can do that for you. That's fine. Let me let me find you in the pile. Where was Carl? I'm going to do the thing that I've been trying to do. Were you near the end, Carl? Were you near the beginning? I feel like you were near the beginning, weren't you? There you are. So yeah, we're gonna do you pretty close to the beginning anyway, so that's fine. Uh, I didn't pick... So Ken F. joined this month. So Ken F. doesn't get an extra pull this month. Uh, Ken F. is right here. Right here. Um, so Ken F. joined this month, so this is his first month, so he doesn't get a patron pull this month. That's how I've always done it. That's how I'm going to continue to do it. So, if it's your first month as a patron, you don't get a pull from the patron pile. Because the idea is, is that the patron pile is meant for the people who who stick around. Alright, Tony. Sounds good. Alright, so, MTG Unpack didn't get the Mythic Pack. Didn't get the Time Spiral. Didn't get the Cabal Coffers, so of course he got the one where he has to pick. <laughs> he got the one where he has to pick. So, I'm gonna have to message him and ask him what he wants. Um, I believe what we said, this was either the deck box made by Rick, our man Rick, main man Rick, uh, which is this one right here. There it is, there's that red deck box. There it is. Just give him the deck box. Just ship him this. And he'll get it and be like, what the... And I'll be like, hey, hey take that. <laughs> I mean, it's red, right? And he likes goblins. So, I mean, like, I guess that makes sense. So, the only other option is, uh, I believe with this one, is the... He could get a playmat. He could get one of my playmats. Uh, the Nerdvana playmats. Or he could get... Um, the Seb McKinnon playmat of uh, Vengeful Rebirth because I have one left to give away. So it's up to him on that. I mean, it's he, he you know, um, I think that the deck box seems like probably the right thing to do, Rick. Um, but I want to I want to give him the choice because it is up to him at the end of the day, right? So 
I want to make sure that he gets the option to pick because that's the whole point of this card. So anyway, I will put MTG Unpacked here. Uh, thank you. There we go. Congratulations, on MTG Unpacked. You have won the grand prize. There are still some spicy things here uh, to go through uh, the grand prize pool. <laughs> Tell him that if he doesn't pick the deck box, my feelings will be hurt. I will, I will make sure he knows that, Rick. Don't worry. All right. If you're interested in becoming a patron and getting in on the patron pull action and all that kind of stuff, do so. Right now is the best time. You know what the best time of doing it is? Right now. Right now is the best time. Okay. Let's get this out of the way like so. If you sign up right now, you'll get a grab bag this month. The month that you sign up is the month you get your first grab bag that month. Which that means if you roll over to the next month, you'll get at the beginning of the next month, you'll get a pull from the patron pile. Just so that we're clear on how that works. Okay. I need a box. I need the baggies. Are these the baggies? These are the baggies. Here's the ba here's the magical baggies. You go right there. Okay. Carl. We'll do Ken next because he's new. All right, Carl. Yes. Correct, Carl. That's what you're getting this month. You're getting the half and half tier. Indeed, uh, Damon. This is what they are like. Okay, so Carl, you were walking away with that foil Hushbringer. Very nice. And you're getting a two times grab bag. One regular, one foil. So, I have to remember myself. That's how this works. So, you're, we'll pull your regular first. Let's pull your rare. First rare, an Anguish Unmaking. That's a really good rare. Nice. Solid hit for the first pull. Second pull, whoo! Iona, Shield of Amar Amaria. Well, she got banned, didn't she? That's unfortunate. But uh, still a sweet angel. This card is sweet. Congratulations, Carl. I'll give you a magic bag. All right, Rot Wolf. Dryad Greenskeeper. Brain Bite. Mana Chains. Mana Chains is actually a really good card. Test of Faith, and a Mist Meadow Witch, and your foil for this grab bag. Boom, a Sanguomancy from Born of the Gods, and your common or uncommon worth a dollar or more. Are you ready? Ooh, Cultivate. There it is. All right, that's your first grab bag, Carl. Let's pull your second one, which is, okay, is everyone ready for this? Carl's in the half and half, so he gets a regular grab bag, and then now he gets a foil grab bag. Ten foils. One. Familiar's Ruse. Two. Madcap Skills. Three. Handwear Lancer. Four. Embril Bruiser. Five. Coalition Honor Guard. Six. God Pharaoh's Faithful. Seven. Wings of the Guard. Eight. Hunter's Insight. Nine. Fo a foil Rare. Grim Harifux. Or Heru Spec. Heru spec. That's the one. And ten. Disfigure. So there you go, Carl. That's your foil pulls. And then your common or uncommon with a dollar or more. A gifted Aetherborn. There is your second grab bag, Carl. Congratulations. Thank you so much for your patronage. I really appreciate it. We're going to get your cards all together like so. Get the little baggie here like this. Put that in there like that. Boom. There it is. There it is. So many foils. That's right. All the foils for you. Who's next? No, that's not right. That's... There we go. Next up is Ken. We're gonna do Ken next. Ken's our newest patron. Alright, Ken, let's pull your grab bag. First rare. A Crypt Breaker. Not a bad little rare. This rare's uh, really, really good for any kind of zombie deck. So it's a 1-1. A one -one that says pay 2 and tap it. Discard. A card, put a 2-2 two -two black zombie onto the battlefield. Tap three untapped zombies you control. Draw a card, lose a life. Very nice. Very nice. And then a Vesuvian Shapeshifter. So Ken's a buddy of yours, eh? MTG Unpacked. Or uh, MTG Hermit. That's nice. Reservoir Walker. Ambassador Oak. Tajuru Path Warden. Blood Briar. Mind Games from Stronghold. And Hail of Arrows. And your foil, 
Is this Slippery Bogle? Slippery Bogle. And can your common or uncommon worth dollar or more? This one. How about a Quirion Ranger? There it is. Very nice. So there you go, Ken. Thank you so much for your patronage. Welcome to the group. And that's your grab bag for this month. Heard from your friend who works at the local game store that Magic Fest Toronto might be cancelled. Alright, Carl, have a good night. Thank you for stopping by. Um, yeah, so Corbin, it's possible. He's a big zombie player too? Nice. It's a solid zombie. It's a very good zombie. MTG Hermit. All right, Tyler B. is next with Labyrinth of Scophos uh, extended art. And yeah, Corbin, the, the Magic Fest might get canceled. Who knows? Falcon Wrath Aristocrat as your rare. And your second rare? Wrath of God! The Wrath of God. Eternal Masters Edition. Very nice little rare right there. Dauntless Cathar. Wooly Loxodon. Prey Upon. Oh, this one. Kolos Yearling. Put that in there. Mog Fanatic. Glaring Aegis. Mog Fanatic's a nice card, too, actually. Uh, Garrulous so uh, Psychophant as your foil. And your common or uncommon with dollar or more. Boom! Counterspell. Reminds you of coming out of the wound. I mean, whatever floats your boat, green man. Whatever floats your boat. Whatever cranks your crank, I guess. You know, whatever. You know? To each their own. Tice G, walking away that sweet knight of the Ebon Legion. Yeah, all the Magic Fests getting cancelled is, like, pretty rough, but... So they've only cancelled the ones up until, like, the end of April or something like that. Uh, anything after that is up in the air um, at the moment, from my understanding. So since Toronto's is in May... It's still a maybe. They haven't canceled it officially yet. However, with how things are going, I don't see them having it continue. We can say we survived the great toilet paper famine of 2020. <laughs> That's accurate, Jonathan. Bio Visionary is your first rare, Tice. And your second? Ooh, a mythic. Quicksilver Gargantuan. Who doesn't like a mythic from Scars? Sigil of the New Dawn, Goblin Trailblazer, Squadron Hawk, Ninth Bridge Patrol, Awe Strike, and Commune with Nature. And your foil, a Terminate. Terminate foil's really good, actually. Nice card. Terminate's a great card. And your commoner common with all or more is Counterspell. <laughs> Do you use Kitty Lair? Oh, Rick. Stupid bags. Come here. Why are you like this? Why you gotta be... Why you gotta be like this? Eh. There. You can... There. It's good. Sure. Fine. Fine. It's working. It's good now. Jonathan, it's your turn. Alright, Jonathan. Foil Wayfarer's Bobble for you. Very nice. Shiny. Shiny, shiny. Can't really tell with the camera, with the sleeve and all that. Your first rare is Aether Mage's Touch. And, ooh, the Royal Scions. Look at that. Standard playable Mythic Planeswalker right there. Look at that. Snazzy. Dusk Charger. Luminous Bonds. Goblin Freerunner. Dauntless Cathar. Contentious Plan and Ashiok's Adept. Uh, Damon, uh, yeah, the draw will be tomorrow sometime, probably in the afternoon, um, uh, because the, the draw doesn't close until tonight at midnight, so I probably won't draw it until tomorrow sometime in the afternoon. Um, yeah, even though I don't play Standard. I mean, technically, Royal Scions is playable in Modern as well. Foil, Tormenting Voice. And a Laboratory Maniac. I guess, do you play mostly Commander, Jonathan? Is that why you're, is that what you're saying? Because, I mean, like, I don't see them not being, like, I mean, they seem like they could be okay for Commander as well. I mean, heck, it's a Planeswalker. Heck. Heck and heck, right? Brad. Brad gets two grab bags and is walking away with that sweet lightning helix. All right. Boom. Containment Priest. 
Ooh, snazzy, snazzy, snazzy rare, and a Nessian Wilds Ravager. All right, okay. Acrobatic Maneuver, Invigorate. You run them in your Locust God EDH deck? Exactly, see, Raise the Alarm. Raise the Alarm is actually a really good un un uncommon. Kozilex Channeler, <gasps> Mr. B, it's a, it's a pack. I owe you a pack. Do I have a pack of Theros? Oh God. Do I have a pack of Theros? Kicking around. Are you a pack of Theros? You're not a pack of Theros. Are any of you a pack of Theros? None of you are a pack of Theros. Curses. All right. That means we gotta do one of the things. We gotta do the thing. We gotta open the thing and the stuff to get a pack of Theros for bread. Yes, I'm opening a bundle to get a pack for bread. That's how this is working. What am I not doing, Bob? I have to do the thing. I owe Brad a pack of Theros. So here we are. Sentinel's Eyes, Wings of Hubris, Omen of the Dead, Flicker of Fate, Sleep of the Dead, Omen of the Forge, Relentless Pursuit, Triton Wave Rider, Dreadful Apathy, Spirit Mantle, Glimpse of Freedom, Favorite of Iroas, Ferris Band Brawler. Ooh, how about an Uro? How about an Uro? Seems, seems dees. Seems dees. <laughs> but boom How about a foil tavern, tavern swindler? And it's Steve. You got a Steve. Look, Brad, a Steve. All right, that was only Brad's first grab bag. Hilarious. Hilarious. All right, Brad, there's your first grab bag. Let's pull your second one. Ha-ha. Brawl's Expertise and M Mirko Vosk, Mind Drinker. And Ishan Shade, Take Into Custody, Animus of Predation, Ornery Kudu, Bone to Ash, and, ooh, Draconian Silix from Fallen Empires. I don't even know there was Fallen Empires cards in here still. Pacifism. Foil pacifism. Who doesn't like a good pacifism? And your common or uncommon dollar or more? A lightning bolt. It's a lightning bolt. Sack him for the mana. Do it now. Who, Steve? Sacking Steve for the mana? You never sack Steve for the mana until you're ready to block with Steve. That's how You make Steve take one for the team to the face, and then you get a mana out of him. That's how it works. That's how I live my life. Mainly because my name is Steve. Eric walking over with that Quirion Druid with the Wellwisher in behind. And Eric's now the two grab bags as well, but the foil pack. So, first grab bag. A glaring spotlight. And a Slayer's Plate. Two artifact rares. My goodness. Cavu Climber. Scuzzback Marauders. Copperhorn Scout. Aura Flux. Cool. Urza's card. Nice. Firebolt. And Invading Manticore. And your foil for this grab bag is a Zealous Strike. And your common or uncommon with a dollar or more? A Ooh, a foreign ponder. All right, Eric, you tell me if you don't want that. But there it is. Ponder is worth like $3. And the LGS I went to only had foreign copies of it. So I was like, I guess I'll just buy these. So I bought them and put them in here. If you guys don't want them in here, I'll take them out. But they're worth 3 bucks a piece. So I mean, like... And I mean, Ponder doesn't do anything super crazy. Um, really good card, but it doesn't like do anything that's like... You need to be able to read the card to know what it does. Particularly, anyway. All right. Ten foils. One. A Skyreach Manta. Two. A Shore Keeper. Three. A Guided Strike. Four. Devil's Playground. Rare. Five. 
War Wing Siren, six. Torrent of Souls, seven. Return to the Earth, eight. Elaborate Fire Cannon, nine. Boar Umbra, and ten. A Choking Tethers, and your common or uncommon with a dollar or more? And Ancient Stirrings. There you go, Eric. Congratulations. If you don't want that ponder, please let me know. Greg, how's it going? Uh, we haven't got to your grab bag yet, I don't believe. But, as you just saw there, we did one of the new tiers, which is the half and half. One grab bag that's normal, so one from each red, three from each of these, one from here, one from here. And then a foil grab bag, which is ten from here and one from here. One of the new tiers I added. Tom! Someone likes the choke? You know it. Tom, walking away with that Factor Fiction from Invasion. Factor Fiction's a great card. Solid little card. And Amira, Amiria Shepard. Lionfall, one of my favorite mechanics. And an Anafenza, the foremost. Nice, little mythic hit there. Very nice. There we go. Mind Rot. Uh, Dragon Scales, Universal Solvent, Dead Reveler, Time Ebb from Tempest, and a Shriek Diver. And your foil is a Mummy Paramount, and your common or uncommon dollar or more is a Boros Signet. Boros Signet, great little card as well. The Signets are great um, because they essentially, for two mana, they give you the ability to turn one mana into two mana, which is solid for basically any commander player. Signets are very, very good. Joseph, walking away with that sweet foil whirlwind denial. Boom! Luminate Primordial and a Retribution of the Ancients. Yavamaya Shepherd. Appetite for Brains. Siphon Life. Joint Assault. Youthful Knight from Stronghold. So one of the OG printings of Youthful Knight, right? Frogmite. Who doesn't like Affinity for Artifacts, man? Affinity for Artifacts is like where I cut my teeth in college on magic. Slip Through Space Foil. That foil looks gorgeous, by the way. And a Price of Progress. There you go. Congratulations, Joseph. Thank you so much for your patronage. I really appreciate it. For those of you wondering where the heck Sharla is, Sharla is out with some friends. Much needed. Much needed time with friends, uh, in my opinion. Logan. Logan was walking away with that extrapate. Hey, pause. How's it going? You haven't missed your pack yet. Dynavolt Tower is your first rare. Pia's Revolution. Bombard. Precise Strike. Slave of Bolas. Honden of Cleansing Fire. Anticipate. Oh, this one. And an Anhava Inn from Homelands. And your foil is a Foil Squadron Hawk. Now you just need three more Foil Squadron Hawks and you can have a playset. <laughs> Beast Within. As your common or uncommon with LR more. There you go, Logan. Thank you so much for your continued patronage. I really appreciate it. I hope you're having a wonderful day. All of you, all of you, I'm hoping all of you are having a wonderful day and a wonderful week. Kairu Kairu is next with that foil Kunaros, Hound of Aethrios, and boom. Hey, how about Braids, Cabal Minion, you know, that card that's banned. And then a Xenograft, which is a fun card. Dreadbridge Shaman, Kindle, and an Implement of Examination, along with Choking Tethers. Wildwood Tracker, and Mesa Enchantress. And your foil is a Kozalex Shrieker. And your common or uncommon with dollar or more? Boom! Fatal Push! Congratulations, Kairu Kairu. There you go. That's your grab bag for this month. I hope you enjoy it. Have a crazy video happening after midnight. Nice. Sounds good. Sounds good. Pause. Who's next? Matt S. Walking away with that sweet Garrick. Uh, and getting two grab bags. All right, Matt, let's pull your first grab bag. First grab bag, Elite Inquisitor. And a Sundering Titan. 
Rouse the Mob, Cruel Finality, Fusion Elemental, Siphon Soul, Seer Allen, the Lion's Claw, and Vashino First Blade. Your foil is a foil rare, Nessa's Renewal. Very nice. The card is very playable, just so that we're clear. And your common or common dollar more is Cabal Therapy. You hate braids. Looks like my ex-wife. Scares the F out of you with those eyes. Ah, that's unfortunate, Rick. All right, Decree of Justice. Oh, pause. You mean you mean like these ones? I'm doing the same thing you're doing. I'm not opening it because I don't want them to get in trouble. Uh, Decree of Justice. Storm Kirk. Storm Kirk. Condemned. Lionheart Maverick, Hinterland Drake, Ancient Crab. Who doesn't like a good old Ancient Crab? Kozilek Shrieker, Just the Wind, and Pouncing Lynx. And a Patriarch Ward foil. And your common or uncommon dollar or more? Oh, I have a spike. Get spiked on. I don't think it's the same kind of spike, to be honest. Right? I'm not hip or with it with the terms of things in Magic these days, but getting spiked on is not that. All right, pause. You're walking away with that sweet finale of Promise, that mythic from War of the Spark. Very good card. Uh, so let's see what you get for your grab bag. You can't uh, you can't just open me them up instead of a bundle, Mr. B. Well, <laughs> I mean, it's a little more expensive, Jonathan, but yeah. Boom. Captured by the consulate. And a gamble. Oh, there you go. So you've got some nice red rares there, Paws. Gamble's a very good card. I might be a little sick. Aether Inspector. Malevolent Whispers. Stream of Unconsciousness. Ostracize. Crumbling Necropolis, which shouldn't be in there. And a Forced Landing. So you get an extra one, which is Palace Sentinels. And your foil is a borrowing a hundred thousand arrows. Just, just, they're just going to lend them to you. And your common or common dollar or more is Searing Blaze. A nice little red instant as well. Listen, I paid for mine. Pause. <laughs> they didn't give it to me. They, pay, they pay. I paid for it. <laughs> so, you know. My LGS doesn't give me product, just so we're clear. They do not give... They give me promo packs from time to time um, to just, like, you know, give away on the channel and stuff, which I am grateful for. Mo, uh, Mo gives me a whole bunch of stuff, which is great. I, Mo is awesome. I love Mo. But I don't consider Mo my LGS because he's a little bit out of the way for me. Um, but, like, my local game store, the one that's in town with me, doesn't doesn't give me packs really. They give me they've given me I think like in total like maybe four or five promo packs since I've been opening product for them and like you know uh, going to their store and all that kind of stuff. They can't really give me a lot because they're a pretty busy store, um, so they got to make sure that they have prizes to give out to the actual people for the you know tournaments and stuff, right? Yeah, exactly. Pause. It's great. It's great when LGSs can do that kind of stuff, right? Um, but like, you can't go in expecting them to, right? You can't go in being like, oh, my LGS, I'm, you know, I'm going to talk about you in my, in my video. And so you should give me free stuff. It's not, you know, like, it's not great. It's not a great way of doing things. Um, and I, so like, I'm super grateful for the stuff my LGS have given me. It's just not a lot. Right. So, I mean, like, I don't expect it from them. So that's fine. Uh, anyway, Kitchen Fink is walking away with that extended art feasting troll. And what do we get? Boom. Ooh, an Arcades. Time to build a wall deck. Time to build a wall commander deck. 
get in. I have one. I can send you my list if you want. Ooh, Anathalia? Holy moly. I mean, Thalia, is that the Thalia that's getting reprinted? I think it is, right? Luminous Bonds, the one that's getting printed in the secret layer. Wooly Loxodon, Heal the Scars, Search for Tomorrow, Lowland Basilisk, and Spiteful Blow. And your foil, a foil rare, Sigarda's Aid. That's actually a really decent rare as well. Sigarda's Aid is great. And a Counterspell. Yeah, that's awesome, Paws. I mean, that's great, right? Like, that's why Mo gave me stuff. Like, the first time I met Mo, he cut me a deal on stuff and then gave me some promo packs to give away. And, like, he didn't do that because he thought he would benefit. He did that because he was like, I want to help you with your channel. Like, it's it, you you seem like you're doing a great thing for the community and I want to help you. So, I really appreciate it. Actually, it's funny. I was at Mo. I was at Mo's place, uh, like, last week. And he mentioned to me, he's like, I'm surprised how much you talk about me in your videos. I'm like, well, listen... If you give me a good experience as a customer, I'm going to talk about you. That's just how it is. Also, you have the hugest collection that I've ever seen. So it's something that, you know, it, it stays relevant in my mind at most times. Anyway, Gordon. Gordon walking away with that sweet mind slaver. Just a little under the weather. Yeah, that's unfortunate, Jonathan. I hope you feel better, man. Aid from the cowl. All right. And, ooh, a mythic. Our, uh... Of a very woo, avaricious dragon, avaricious dragon, dear God, my brain, my brain was like, I don't know how to read this word. Infuse with elements, foundry assembler, lifecraft cavalry, thalid shell dweller, lotus eye mystics, and a centaur healer. And your foil is a crimson mage. And your common or uncommon with a dollar or more? Let's pull this one. This one right here. Boom. How about a freed from the real? There you go. Thank you so much, Gordon. I hope you enjoy your grab bag. There you go. Boom. Who's next? This guy has a bunch of stuff. The only reason he's not your main LGS. Yeah, so, so pause. That's the same thing as with Mo for me. Mo is about 45 minutes away from my place. Um, so that's why he, he, I, he, I don't view him as my, my main LGS, but like he's, you know, I'll, I will go to Mo anytime I can't find what I'm looking for anywhere else. Right. Or at my local store, basically. Father Frodo walking away with that beast within. Boom. Baral. Baral's a nice one. Chief of Compliance and Rorix Bladewing. Dragon. Diabolic Edict. Uh, Irrigation Ditch, which shouldn't be in there. Diminish. Grim Initiate. Keldon Champion. Necrotal. And Unravel the Aether. Hey! <laughs> I think Father Frodo, he messaged me, I think last month, and was like, hey, I need a playset of Unravel the Aether, uh, if you have it. And I told him I didn't have it. And look at this. We found one. And it's going to you. What are, what are the chances of that? Not very high, but here we are. But here we are. All right. So that's your... S one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, because it was a land. Foil. Ba-boom. Foil giant dusk wasp. And... Gifted Aetherborn. The drive would be worth it if you had a four banger, but you've got a six. Yeah. That's why I have a four banger. And it's not because I made a mistake and bought a four banger instead of a six banger. It's that I just don't really drive anywhere. Matt W. Walking with that vigor. So I bought a car that uh, cost me like no money and gas. Mavrin Fane Dusk Apostle. And a Selfless Spirit. Two nice white rares right there. Very good, both of them. Very good for a vampire deck, very good for a spirit deck, or even just a mono white flyers deck. Uh, Erratic Visionary. Aven Liberation? Or Aven Liberator? Liberator. Renegade, Renegade's Getaway. Blinding Beam. Tragic Poet, 
and Feral Abomination. A Foil Disenchant. Very nice. Ba-boom. Oh, there you go. Nice alternate art Vraska from War of the Spark. Hey, that's really cool. So there you go, Matt. That's your first... That's your first grab bag. Let's pull your second one. Ba-boom! Dread Wanderer. Ooh, the Great Henge! Wow, that's a nice... That's a spicy hit right there. Great Henge is a great card. I love playing that card in standard right now. Bone size ready! I got you for three minutes. What is it? Three... Three minutes of pain. Oh, Macho Man Randy Savage. Iron Shell Beetle Sift. Na Narstad Scrapper. Sift again, somehow. Look at you, getting two sifts. Ashiok Skulker. And your foil is a Spirit Noble. And your common run coming with a dollar or more? Ba-boom! Path to Exile. There you go. That's a big hit in the uh, common uncommon slot right there. Congratulations, Matt. I hope you enjoy your grab bags for this month. Thank you so much for being a patron. I really appreciate it. Boom, and I'm sorry, everyone, about the delay. I apologize. I get you for three minutes. Oh, man. Hilarious. Uh, okay, so you drive the drive is where the Rick only has a one banger. My god, Rick. Just a one a one stroke motor. Rick, you're next. Altar of dementia. Two grab bags for Rick. Hundred handed one. R.I.P. Macho, yeah. And a Silumgar, Drifting Death. Nice. Nice little dragon. Jace's Phantasm. Power Stone Shard. Sen's Tactician. Set as in Starbreaker. Primal Clay. Is that just a bicycle rig? <laughs> Grasp of Phantoms. Foil Sundering Growth. Sundering Growth is a great card as well. Destroy target artifact or enchantment, then populate. And a Vivid Meadow. So there you go. Nice little um, vivid land. Uh, so it says, when it enters the battlefield, you put two charge counters on it, and then you can tap it and make a white, or you can tap it and remove a charge counter and add one mana of any color to your mana pool. Great for Commander. So, Rick, there you go. A nice uh, land that makes all colors, as long as you have uh, charge counters on it still. But boom Cillian Sunslinger. My goodness. Look at that one. And Release to the Wind. Scooter. Beep beep. Isn't isn't beep beep the sound the Roadrunner makes? Beep beep. Ah, oh, God. I know, Greg, I know. I would never do that. Uh Chandra's Revolution, Sludge Strider. A rummaging Goblin, Savage Twister, and Death's Duet. Return, return two target cards from your graveyard to your hand. Very nice. And a Foil Jackal Pup. Good old Jackal Pup. And a Lava Spike. There you go, Rick. Congratulations. I hope you enjoy your grab bags for this month. Thank you so much for being a patron. I really appreciate it. I hope you have a wonderful month. Blam. Who's next? Raphael. Walking away with that Animate Dead from 5th edition, I think it is. I believe that's what we came up with. Although I guess the 5th edition had a, had a symbol, didn't it? Or was that 6th edition that I'm thinking of? No, didn't 5th edition have the V? Or 5? I think it did, right? Hmm. Anyway. Uh, Dissipation Field, which is whenever a permanent deals damage to you, return it to its owner's hand. Very good card for Commander. Very good card for Commander. Prism Array. Really makes people not want to attack you. Uh, uh, pause. Uh, they have, actually. I've had a few people comment and tell me that you had sent them over. Uh, Thornwald Archer, or Thor Thornwield Archer, Angel of Despair, Water Trap Weaver, 
Embril Gear Smasher, uh, Rake Claw Gargantuan, and a Quarry Colossus. Yes, I've had a few people leave comments saying that you sent them over, and then I told them that uh, you were a stellar dude, and that I appreciated you sending them here. Um, look at this bad boy right here, Raphael. How about a Foil Swans of Brynargle? This card is great. Um, and I don't know if it's like, I think it's worth some money. In, not in foil, so it must be worth some money in foil, too. And, ooh, how about an alternate art Dav... Uh, Davriel? Davriel. Yeah. You lied, Steve. Did I lie? I lied about what? What did I lie about now? <laughs> I get so much wrong these days. Uh, Tony... Tony's here. Tony's not here. Tony's phone was dying. And Tony's at work. So, Tony got that shield of the Oversoul. And two grab bags. Let's see what Tony gets. But boom How about a Glory Bound Initiate? And a Nevrin Rules Disc. Very nice. Sign the rares. Foil. Patron pull. And the alt, alt art. Okay. Elephant Guide. Sign rares, foil, patron pull, and, and the alt art. Okay. I'll, I will try to remember, Rafa. <laughs> I will try to remember. I, I, I will definitely sign things. I just have to remember. Uh, the Elephant Guide, Mystical Teachings, uh, Bastion Inventor. Hey, I'm dead inside. How's it going? Haze of Pollen, Slime Molding, and Thalid. Just a tiny Thalid. The Angel and the Angel of Despair. Okay, I will try to remember all of those things. Phyrexian Gargantuan as your foil. And your common uncommon dollar or more. And is it Signet? Very nice. Who doesn't like a nice Signet from time to time? All right, Tony, second grab bag. Let's pull. Let's see what we find. How about a Call of Unity and... A thing in the ice. Thing in the ice is like, what is thing in the ice coming in at now? Oh, booster pack of Theros, spore swarm, destructive tampering. Oh, oh, we got two there. Swell of growth, entomer exarch, and a circle of protection red. But boom, buried alive. And common, uncommon, with dollar or more. Ooh, Cloud of Fairies. Good old Cloud of Fairies. Okay, we owe Tony a booster pack. Where are you, packs? Right here. Twa. All right. Thanks for stopping by, Raphael. Have a good night. Uh, yes. I'm dead inside. I will most likely be opening up some uh, mystery boosters. At some point. Whether it's tonight or whether it's later next week or something, I don't know. You got, you're got you getting Brett from Booster Therapy to build you a commander deck and you challenge him to build it around only $50? Nice. Nice, Jonathan. I built a $50 uh, Fenex deck for uh, Warlord Hank, if you guys remember that. So he, he did, like, he was doing a series where he was traveling around to LGSs and stuff to show, like, you know, talk about the LGSs. And it was like, have deck will travel or something like that. And, uh, yeah. You are needing the white legendary vampire acolyte card from Ixalan? The white legendary vampire acolyte. There's a white legendary vampire from Ixalan? I don't recall this. Anyway, Tony, your booster pack. My cheapest deck is definitely my Arcades deck. What happened to him? He's still doing content. He's just doing... Um, he writes articles and stuff now for some other website. I can't remember the name of it. Uh, Impending Doom. Uh, Timurit Chosen from Death. Nessian Wanderer. And the Acroan War. With that nice thing right there. There we go, Tony. Congratulations. 
There, you, I don't know if I'm going to be able to fit your grab bag all in one. We'll see. Can I fit it all in one bag? I can! Huzzah! Here we go, Tony. Ugh. There it is. Boom! Heather, walking away that Ashiok, Sculptor of Fears, the non-foil version of the Planeswalker deck. Uh, Planeswalker. Fleet Wheel Cruiser. Vertiloth the Ancient. Thunderous Wrath. Fan fran frantic Search, I should say. <laughs> Final String Fairy. Wind Strider. Pacifism. And Palace Sentinels. Your foil is a Goblin Boom Keg. Goblin Boom Keg! And your Common Run Common Dollar More is a Racto Signet. There it is. Boom Diddy. Boom Diggity, as they say. All right. That's Heather. Put this box over here like so. Get this box, put it over here. See? Get a new, get a brand new box. Papa's got a brand new box. Your cheapest deck is uh, Giseth with uh, only about $30. Nice. Kyle, coming in with that counterspell. Ba-boom. Fiery Justice. And... A pristine Skywise Dragons. Rouse the Mob. Mar Marauder's Axe. God's Willing. Nice little common there. Bastion Inventor. Chandra's Pyro Helix. And an Anaba Bodyguard. Your foil is a foil pepper smoke. That's actually a really nice foil as well. Looks absolutely gorgeous. And your common or common dollar more? Might of Old Crosa. There you go, Kyle. That's your first grab bag. Let's pull your second one. Mm, here, this one. Ooh, how about a Leyline of Vitality? That's pretty nice. Leyline of Vitality is a pretty nice card. And a Quicksmith Rebel. What's Leyline of Vitality going for these days? I don't even know. Woodcutter's Grit. Unwind. Quicksmith Genius. Supernatural Stamina. Blade Brand. And an Octo Prophet. And your foil? Is a foil Boros Garrison bounce land. That's why it's in there. Foil bounce lands are great. Buried alive. I know. I should say just bounce lands in general are really good. Um, so there you go, Kyle. I hope you enjoy your grab bags for this month. There it is. Thank you so much for being a patron, and have yourself a wonderful month, sir. Boom. Who's next? Twilight. Twilight's Eve. Walking away with that sweet alt art Kiora. From War of the Spark. Let's see. But boom. Insidious Will. And Terminus. Terminus is a great card as well. Angelic Wall. Telling Time. Weight of Conscience. Vis uh, Vestige of Emrakul. Jund Charm. And a Thrall Wizard. No, uh, to say, Thrall Wizard? Actually, just a Thrall, not actually a Wizard weird and then a foil carrion feeder which is really nice Fo i mean carrion feeder is almost a dollar by itself so foil is probably just over a dollar or you know two bucks somewhere in there and your common or common dollar or more is cultivate coming in hot making you get some rampage going on there you go twilight's eve thank you so much for being a patron i really appreciate it i hope you enjoy your grab bag for this month the best you did was when you hit someone for seven and flipped six dinos off the top. Oh, that sounds awesome, Jonathan. That sounds great. Uh, your cheapest deck is Big and Scary Elementals, which is about 35 bucks. Ah, nice. So is that, a, is that an EDH deck as well, Dead Inside, or is that a standard? You're going to build Omnath, uh, Locust of Rage, and 99 Lance? <laughs> Jonathan, that sounds hilarious. Greg, are you still here, Greg? Foil Savala, Heart of the Wild. Blightsteel and Craterhoof? My goodness. Look at you. Look at you, Neil. Greg, walking away with that uh, that sweet... Uh, so you got a Lovestruck Beast with... With... A Foil Lucky Clover. Huh? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Mono Black Aristocrats deck. 100 bucks. Nice. Alright, Greg. So Goblin Charbelcher. And... 
Spirit of the Labyrinth. That's a really good card as well. I remember when that card came out and everyone was like, oh my god, this breaks so many things. Each player can't draw more than one card a turn. It's so good. Such a good card. Steadfast Cathar, Swirling Sandstorm. Especially since it's in white, because white can't draw cards, you know? You know how it goes. I just realized that this is off camera. There, is that better? <laughs> Dur Durgar Assailant, or Duragar Assailant. Otherworldly Journey. Secrets of the Golden City. And a Bulwark Giant. Com come here. Come here, card. Get down there. That's right. You go right on the end, because you, you, you messed up. You giant thing. Ooh, a foil utopia sprawl. That's pretty spicy. Congratulations on that pull right there, Greg. That's awesome. And, ooh, alternate art Tybalt. There you go. Not too shabby. It's a nice little one. Who doesn't like Tybalt? Especially when it's like, haha, you can't gain life, jerks. Thank you, Neil. I appreciate that. Peter S. W walking away with that Westvale Abbey and getting two grab bags. So let's see what let's see what Peter gets. Peter gets a Jareth Leonin Titan and a Reality Smasher. Ooh, man! Remember when Reality Smasher was just ruining standard and modern? I remember. Destructive Tampering, Mahomati Jin, Flesh Former, Mist Raven. Darkling Stalker and Labyrinth Minotaur. Shining Aerosaur Foil. Nice. White Steel and Hoof are non foil. Yeah, yeah. No, no worries. Ooh, a Palace Jailer. There you go. Palace Jailer is a great commander card. Hope you enjoy that one, Peter. Very nice. Yeah. No worries, Greg. And have a good day at work. All right, Peter. Second grab bag. Coax from the Blind Eternities. Uh, yes. I believe we did yours already, uh, Tyler. Uh, veteran war leader. Natural obsolescence. Dagger claw imp. Odious trowel. Stinging shot. Nahiri's stone blades. Honor of the god pharaohs. And a foil cowl prowler. And your common or uncommon with dollar or more? is a chain lightning. There it is. Thank you so much, Peter. I hope you enjoy that palace jailer. Hopefully brings you some sweet victories, becoming the monarch, and then preventing people from stealing it from you. Right? That's how. That's what you want to do with it. Get those extra draw steps, you know? All right, Brokonky. Brokonky, if you're still here, walking away with that sweet gigantosaurus, which I know you'll use, right? You're going to totally use it. How about Growing Ranks? See, it's telling you to play green. Growing Ranks is a great card. Populate. Ooh, how about an Engineered Explosives? Is that is that okay? Does that does that make up for for your for your Gigantosaurus? I hope so. <laughs> Aether Swooper. Sting Fling a Spider. Who wants a Gigantosaurus? Grave Birthing. Enclave Elite. Yeah. <laughs> Sign in blood. Sirico. And your foil? Your foil is a natural state. See, look at all these green cards. Oh, yeah, I guess there's only three green cards, but you know. And your common or uncommon with LR more? How about a star compass? There you go. See, you can now play green. Star compass just lets you make some green. Listen, engineer explosives should more than make up for the rest of the stuff you got out of this grab bag if you're not going to use it. Put it that way. But Grung Ranks is a good card. Yeah, so uh, Dead Inside, uh, the patron page has all of the tiers and stuff. Uh, the cheapest tier to get a grab bag is $8, um, but that's the early bird one, so it's pretty much full up. Um, and then uh, $10 is the basic grab bag tier, and then there's other tiers above it that like have multiple grab bags or things like that. So, yeah. You can check it out. Uh, yeah, Damon. Uh, no problem. Don't worry about it. Uh, I am going to be live streaming it uh, tomorrow. So it'll be... I'll be doing the draw sometime tomorrow. I'm not sure exactly when. Um, it won't be much of a live stream because I think it's like me just clicking a button and then it'll pick a winner because that's how Gleam works. Gleam's all on the background. So like I just click a button and it'll just pick a winner out of the people who have entered. Um, so there's nothing fancy. 
Uh, but I am going to stream it live just so that people know that I am, you know, I, I have video evidence that I clicked the button and it gets spat out the winner and that's who it is, right? That's just how it goes. Um, they will see a drawer for the remainder of your days. Listen, Pro Conky, don't worry about it. You you put it in the drawer. I can even sign it for you. I'll write raw on it and then you can like have it. You know what I mean? I'm here for the disc. All right. Hunter Isis is walking away with that essence warden. Boom. Dust Stalker. And Rurik Thar, the Unbowed. Good commander. Solid commander deck right there. Ronom Unicorn. Spore Sower Thalid. Goblin War Drums. Spring to mind. Steady aim. And there was a rare. <laughs> there was a rare in the bulk pile. Well, just see how it, see that's how this happens. Seed the land was in the bulk pile. Probably shouldn't have been, but there it is. So that's what you get. Bonus. And you get a foil rare. Talran Sky Summoner. <laughs> Alright, Hunter Isis. Yeah, getting all the bonus. And an Exsanguinate. Very good card. Holy moly. Very, very good. Got you a new PC, so you're happy? So speedy. Yeah. My uh, my PC is in need of some tender love. A little bit of TLC, if you know what I mean. Because it's, you know, I probably need to go chasing waterfalls and what have you. Right? Um, Chris M. walking away with that test of endurance. All right. But boom Mouth to feed. And... Ooh, Exquisite Archangel. Nice mythic right there. <laughs> I mean, it's bulk, so it belongs. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's fair. It's just an extra rare. Eldrazi Aggressor. Vivify. Demolition Stomper. Leave in the Dust. Giant Growth. Rising Populous. And your foil is a Hillcomber Giant. And your common or uncommon with dollar or more. Inquisition of Kozalek. Congratulations, Chris. Thank you so much for your patronage. I really appreciate it. Hope you enjoy your grab bag with your nice new mythic angel right there. Very good stuff. Have yourself a wonderful month. Thank you for your support. All right, who's next? Connor. Connor's next. Walking away with that sweet forest, that John Avon forest, with that needle drop from uh, Lorwyn. All right, what's next? But boom Divine Deflection and... An Oath of a Johnny. Vessel of Narcency. Or Nascency? Nascency. Uh, there's no R, so it's Nascency. Disciple of Malice. Una's Grace. Wild Mongrel. Rally the Peasants. And a Leafkin Druid. And your foil is an Arachnus Web. And your commoner on commoner with all or more is a Swords to Plowshares. Is there a way you could buy another pack tonight and I crack one of those mystery booster pack included? I'm not sure what you mean, pause. Like you, you Where you want you want me to like crack one of the mystery boosters for you? Is that what you're saying? You you want to buy one of the mystery boosters from my box? Sam M getting two grab bags, walking away with that Temple of Enlightenment foil. Fleet Swallower. Blood Moon. Well, Sam. You're gonna be you're gonna be that guy now. Okay? You're gonna play Blood Moon and make everyone go, uh Uncaged Fury. Ember Beast. Stream Hopper. Territorial Baloth. Griffin Sentinel. Infuriate. Wall of Frost. Does the patron convert to Canadian dollars? Because depending on how I make in the farmer's market, I might want to join the Patreon. Um, so all of the Patreon stuff is in, in US dollars. I, there's, I don't know 
what it means for people in Canada, Damon. Like, I don't know. Like, if you... If you sub to any level on my Patreon, it's going to be in US dollars. So... You run Blood Moon in your Logos God deck? It's just good stuff. Solid. I hope you do well at the Farmer's Market for your sake. And if you want to join and you can join after, great. But if you can't, don't worry about it. Uh, there's never any, you know, there's never any, like, put it this way. There's never pressure to join the Patreon. And I tell this to everybody, all of you out there listening. I don't make any money off Patreon. Like, I, you guys pay and you get stuff. And the money that you spend, you put in, I use to buy the stuff that I give out. So I don't make money. I basically use the money that you give me to put things into this box and to buy packs to open on the channel. That's it. There's no there's no benefit. Like there's no like I'm not like padding my wallet with extra cash. Do you see what I'm saying? Then why does my arm still hurt? <laughs> well, Rick, maybe you shouldn't have bumped it into the table the other day. That's what I'm going to go with. That's what I assume happened. Sam, second grab bag for Sam. A Gavany Township. Gavany Township's a nice rare as well. Uh, and Yeheni's Expertise. Resourceful Return. Brute Force. Ballynock Trapper. Absorb Vis. Uh, Fairy Vandal. Deadbridge Shaman. Uh, so pause. We can talk about it in a in a bit here. Let me finish up these grab bags, and then we'll and then we'll talk about what you're trying to do. Unquenchable thirst. Eh. Haha. Unsoul artifact. Because we'll have to. I, we'll have to talk about the price because you might not agree to the price for the mystery booster uh, when you know what I had to pay to get it. <laughs> All right, Jordan, walking away with that divert because of, you know, Canada. Uh, walking away with that divert with the opt. Very nice Odyssey and Invasion art there. All right, Jordan, what do you got? Are you still here, MTG Hermit? God Pharaoh's Gift. And Magnetic Mine. Two artifacts for you. Mist Weaver. Mist Fire Weaver, I should say. Hey, John Johnson. Uh... Daru Lancer, Dragon Lord Servant. Don't worry, I will tell you in a moment. Gift of Paradise, Wildfire Emissary, and Foreshadow. Ba boom! Foil raised the alarm, and your common or uncommon, worth a dollar or more, is a Helm of Awakening. That's a really nice uh, uncommon, uh, common uncommon to get. Very nice. All spells cost one generic mana less to play. Not just you, everybody. Still, really good card. From Visions. So there you go, Jordan. Congratulations. Thank you so much for your patronage. I really appreciate it. Um, so to answer your question, John Johnson, I pay... My LGS charge is 150 plus tax, and tax in Ontario is 13%. So, you know, it's not cheap, unfortunately. Um, Kazan, uh, getting two grab bags with that foil Dragon's Tempest. And we've got a Karn's Temporal Sundering, a Orbs of Warding. You are welcome, MTG Herman. Thank you for being a patron. Gore Swine, Death Bloom Thalid, Failed Inspection, Cathodian, Fencing Ace, Shinnin of Flight's Wings, and your foil. Yeah, 150 cash. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's not, like, crazy. It's just the tax. The tax is what gets everybody, because the tax in Ontario is, like, a quite a bit higher. Sam, we literally just did your grab bag. <laughs> like, just two seconds ago. Uh, you hit... Uh, you got a sweet blood moon, my dude. You got a sweet blood moon. Foil Bosk Banneret and a Serum Visions. Like, literally just did your grab bag. Like, maybe, like, a minute ago. Eldamir's Call as your second grab bag first rare. And preempt, uh, pre, uh, preeminent, 
preeminent, preeminent captain. Dear preeminent, sweat works brawler, guilt grove stalker, watchers of the dead. This is welcome to my stream where you get to see me fail at English live on the internet. Helion's pilgrim, intervene, and flux charger, and a foil lawless broker. And your common or uncommon with dollar or more? Boom! Animate dead. Yeah, but Jonathan, like, that's a hundred US, right? Hundred dollars US? Or is that, is that, wait, are you in Canada? I can't friggin' never remember. Jonathan, are you in Canada? Thank you so much, Kazan. I really appreciate your patronage. I hope you enjoy your grab bags for this month. Charlotte's going to have to work on your math, too. Yeah, well, she can't fix it, Rick. Don't worry. USD to CAD, yeah. Yeah, see, so you want, they want 120 USD, which is like just, I, I think that's actually, pause, I think that's actually over 150 CAD with the exchange rate. Mike V is next with that Dawn of Hope and two grab bags. You're in North Dakota. Yeah, okay. Dictate of Crufix and Pia's Revolution. Yeah, so like $100 US is is about what we're paying, right? It's a, maybe a little bit less than what we're paying uh, before tax. But are you paying $100 all in? Like, that's it? 100 bucks, No tax? Because if, if so, that's great. Uh, Hinterland Drake, Songs of the Damned, Gift of the Deity, Earthen Arms, Thrall Surgeon, and Honor of the God Pharaoh. And your foil is a foil, foil Marori. Marori. More OI. Moroi? I don't know. Whatever. And a laboratory maniac. Again, failing at English, you know. We're lear learning how to speak English is is hard when it's your first language, okay? Bygone bishop. Descent into madness. That's what I feel like right now. Nice mythic, though. There it is. Beginning of your upkeep, put a despair counter on descent into madness. Then each player exiles X permanence. He or she controls... Or, and or cards from his or her hand, where X is the number of despair counters on Descent into Madness. Good times. 100 after the taxes is a really good price. Plume Veil, Tribal Flames, Airy Oofies, <laughs> Airy Oofies, Master Splicer, Wild Size, and Goblin Wardrums. Foil, Aether Torch, Renegade. See, look, I pronounced all of the all of the characters in that name this time. Ooh, an Astronaut's Altar. There you go. That's a spicy one. Astronaut's Altar's a great card. I love Astronaut's Altar. I really enjoy sacrificing all of the things to make mana and then do some ridiculous X spell. It's a good time. You still live? We are still live. We're not done yet. We got two more to go. We got Matt N. Walking away with that foil mountain from Theros. Who doesn't like... The nice Starlands. I mean, there are people out there that don't. Ooh, Call to the Grave. That's a nice rare. Very nice. 160, 170 Canadian if you wanted to buy from LGS here in Alberta. Whew. Is that after tax or before tax, Damon? Because that's that's massive. Anger of the Gods. Very nice. Some good rares here so far for Matt. Anok Guide. Storm Sculptor. Repel the Darkness. Uh, Fleeting Distraction, Battle Rattle Shaman, and Demir Cluestone. Boom! How about a foil a Re a Rien? Angel of Rebirth. This was the promo card from M20, right? Core 20? Yeah. Did they give you a kiss after? I mean, yeah. Let's hope so. And a Utopia Sprawl. There it is. That's rough, Damon. That's rough. That's 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 heavy duty. That's some heavy duty damage right there. Yeah, MSRP is super ancient history. <laughs> I agree. They they did away with it a while back. So MTG unpacked. I gotta message him and ask him what he wants. Um, he won the grand prize this month. Um, but let's pull his grab bag. And we've got a damping matrix, as well as a traverse the Ovenwald. Suzuki, Son of Shishiro, Shriekma, Undying Rage, 
Herophant's Chalice, Gor uh, Gorging Vulture, and a Longbow Archer from Visions. Very nice. What did he win? He won the grand prize. He has to pick. He has to pick. Uh, Torrent of Souls as your foil. And your commoner on common with dollar or more? This one. A Sphinx's Tutelage. What was this one? Yeah, that's... There we go. Journey, into, journey to Nowhere. But Sphinx's Tutelage was the one I meant to pull up. So there you go. So, congratulations, MTG Unpacked. There you go. That's your grab bag. I've got to message you and find out what it is you want. Um, so, for those of you who are wondering what I'm talking about, um, each week... Um, each week, or each month, I should say, each not, not each week, each month when I do the grab bag pulls for the patrons, um, I stack all the patrons' names in a pile, shuffle them all up, and then whoever's last off the off the pile gets a grand prize pull. Um, and the grand prize pull consists of a few things. Um, it could be one of a number of things. It could be a Cabal Coffers. It could be a Time Spiral. It could be a Mythic Pack from Ravnica Allegiance's Mythic Edition. So you get the Planeswalker and the pack. Or it could be what MTG Unpacked won, which is um, a choice between a, a nice red deck box, which may not be there next month if MTG Unpacked picks it now, uh, a playmat from uh, Nerdvana. It's my, my shop, uh, one of my shop playmats signed by me. Or, uh, while supplies last, a Seb McKinnon Vengeful Rebirth playmat. So, MTG Unpacked has to pick what he wants, and we will make sure he gets it. Now, pause. You were asking if you could get another grab bag. Do we get a year of patron something? <laughs> it's unpacked. It's just a bunch. That's right, John. Uh, yeah, I, I try to make sure that everything that I give away is like stuff that, that people will enjoy, right? Or can use, right? So, uh, and that's why I like to have a grand prize winner every month and all that kind of stuff. We've also done other things like, for instance, uh, Christmas time, we did a box of Throne of Eldraine collector's packs. We opened them up and gave them as extras to all of the uh, the patrons as well. Um, and then I have a box of Theros collector's packs put aside as well for something similar for some time this year. Don't know when. Um, there's nothing special for a year, being a year of patron uh, pause. Mainly because it's um, it's hard for me to tell when people hit a year. Because a lot of people switch tiers. Um, and also some people like stop, you know, stop their subscription and then restart. And so... Like, the date that they joined doesn't always necessarily coincide with being there for a year and all that kind of stuff. So it's very hard for me to tell who's been there for a year or not. Um, so anyway, um, I could do a bunch of digging and try to figure it out, but I don't bother with it. It's not... I try to load all of my stuff on a, on a monthly basis with enough value that we don't really need to do extra special things for, you know, y when you've been a member for a year or whatever. Um, you know, I, it's just one of those things. Yeah, yeah, there's, yeah, no, it, by all means, f feel free to ask these questions. I appreciate you asking them because, I mean, it, it makes me think about it and it makes other people think about it as well. You know what I mean? And if it's something that people are interested in, then I would have to go back and do it for everyone who's been a patron for more than a year, right? And that's the other thing too, is like, I, since I haven't done it before, it's kind of a, kind of a crappy thing to do it now. <laughs> five year anniversary though you're gonna have a dig you're gonna have to dig all right all right all right i have to dig for five years okay john i mean there you go everyone everyone's put it in in perspective here at your five year anniversary as a patron i will have to figure it out mine mine would be easy i never change shit <laughs> that's fair it's fair bro Conky. okay pause you wanted to buy another grab bag and you wanted to buy a mystery booster one of these Right? And not a box, just one pack. Right? Is what you're saying? Um, my plan wasn't to open them tonight, but I can definitely do so if people are interested in seeing some of that opened up. Uh, what's the damage? It would be... So it would be um, another 8 for the grab bag. Because uh, you would basically be getting like the $16 tier double grab bag. 
Um, and then the pack, let me do the math. Let me do the math. Uh, let me do the math. Where is my calculator? Because I can't do the math in my head right now. Because it's too friggin' late. Okay, so I paid that for that. Divide that by this. Okay, so the packs are another $7 Canadian. So that works out to about like 6 bucks American. So you're looking at about another $14. Is that right? 8 plus 6 Right? Does that sound right? Eight plus six? So yeah, so you're looking at about 14 bucks American that you have to send me. No, not 18. Four, 14. 18 would be way too much. It, it's so the packs work out to about seven dollars a piece for me right five dollars usd is seven dollars cat okay so there you go so so you owe me eight usd for the grab bag and you owe me five to six depending on what you want to do john john's saying it's five usd is seven right do i hear 20 <laughs> no rick no rick you don't hear 20 and you know what rick you get a mystery booster, Rick, because you gave me a $10 friggin' super chat. So take that. How about that, Rick? Now what are you going to do, huh? i probably not even going to see... I don't even know how much my percentage of that super chat goes to me and how much of it goes to, to YouTube, but whatever. Uh, you can send it right now. Pause is fine. And I'll just do the polls right now for you. Uh, let me find you, though. Where were you? Pause. Where were you? Pause. You're in the other box. Tony. Raphael. There's pause. Alright, there's pause. Okay. You cry? Rick got wrecked. <laughs> Alright, pause. Ooh! <laughs> How about an Aetherworks Marvel? Remember when this card was just like massively overpriced and everyone was playing it? I remember. I remember. A double mythic! Wolf of Devil's Preach! Pause, you made the right choice, I guess. Sensor Splicer, Grawl Scrapper, Pima Aether Seer, Nomads Encore, Callous Dismissal, Aki Underling, your foil is a bailoff, bailoff pup. Yes, we'll do the we'll do the bundle in a sec here, uh, Jonathan. Liquid metal coating. There it is. There you go. Pause. That's your second grab bag. Okay. So while you get that money sent to me, uh, you can do it just through PayPal. You have my email and stuff, right? So while you do that, I will do the bundle for Jonathan. Okay. Jonathan, you just wanted a bundle of Theros, right? That goes there like that. Uh, yeah, and you can just send it right to the same email that I put at the end of all my other things. The, um, the Nerdvana PG email, or whatever, not, like, not, no, hold on, what is it? It's like the, hold on. Hold on, I can get it. It's just the Nerdvana one. Uh, Store Canada, Nerdvana Store Canada. That's the one. This is the one that I put up on all my videos and stuff. Uh, I will copy it here to you. You can just uh, email it. You can just PayPal it to there. Okay? You just saw your bag, Tony? Nice. You got some good stuff there. <laughs> All right. 
Jonathan, did you want this or do you want something else? I have lots of options. Which bundle do you want? You said sure. But does sure mean yes or does sure just mean you're you're saying, I guess. Because I have others. I've got Origins, I've got Ixalan, I've got Corset 2019, I've got Ravnica Allegiances, Guilds of Ravnica, Dominaria, uh, Dragon's Maze, um, War of the Spark. You'll take the playmat off my hands? This is my Soren playmat. I literally just bought it, like, last week. <laughs> I bought it last week from my LGS, because they had it on the shelf still, and I was like, Someone hasn't bought this yet? Purchase. John, I like to... Ooh, I have Amon Ket as well. Corset 2020. I've got, I've got a little bit of everything. I like to keep a selection of things for the patrons who want to join at the bundle tier. I don't know if you guys can see it down there. It's over there. See, see like, just off the camera over here? Like, just on the floor down there? You'll take the arrows? Okay. Yeah, 14 USD, Foss. That's all it is. You gotta remember, it's USD, right? So it's gonna come out higher on my side. Right? The 8 bucks for the grab bag. Right? Can you buy some mystery packs as well? Sure, of course. $5 USD, essentially, is I think what everyone is saying. Which seems low to me. I mean, who, I mean, who? all right, Jonathan, there's your foil pack, which this should have been friggin' foil, full art lands, stupid nonsense, stupid nonsense, all right, what do we get, let's see, Hwah. how about a roll off or which one? What do you mean? What do you mean? Which one? Did I just ruin something? Did I miss something? Five dollars USD per pack. Yeah. Six ninety six CAD. Yeah. It it sounds like the five dollars USD is coming to the right price, Brad, because it's about seven bucks a pack. Right, I'm charging you literally cost. I'm not making any money off the pack. So I bought the box for 150 plus tax. The packs come out to about seven dollars and like six cents or something like that after the calculation. 24 packs per box. I paid like 169 something after tax. Um, so it comes into like, I did the math. It's on here. There, see. Seven dollars, and you can't even see it. Seven dollars and six cents. Per pack, right? And that's Canadian. Bigger nonsense is there's no book with it. That is also true. All right, so Jonathan, you want uh, uncommons and rares, right? Just so that we're on the same page. Are there any commons you're looking for? Was I supposed to roll off for which bundle to pick? Is that what you were asking, Jonathan? Like, you wanted Theros, but you wanted me to roll to pick a bundle out of the box? It hurt me, too. I core next month for sure. And I'll and I, and you know what, Jonathan? We'll roll then cuz I'll have a bo I'll have a box of those bundles. Like I'll have a case, so I'll roll a d6 and give you one of the six. Okay? Money sent. Okay, I will check in a sec. Uh, Minions Return. Hero of the Nyxborn. Wolf Willow Haven. And a Temple of Malice. That's a good one. Solid hit. And you want that. I'm assuming you don't care about these tokens, right? You definitely want your lands, though, right? You want your lands, your uncommons, and your rares and mythics, right? And foils, of course. But, like, there's no commons that you're, like, in dire need of. Just so that I make sure that I don't... 
Mirror Shield, uh, Madomai's Prophecy, Destiny Spinner, and Shatter the Sky. Seeing play in standard right now. Lots of play in standard. All right. Boom. All right, pause. After this, we will do your mystery booster pack. Uh, no name, senor. It's $5 per pack, so depending on how many you want. Yeah, I mean, like, it's USD. You can either send me seven Canadian, right? Or you can, uh, or you can, um, send me five American. It's really up to you. It doesn't really matter. I'm not including fees and stuff, I guess, but, like, whatever. I don't really care. Escape Velocity. Nyx Herald. Banishing Light. And Gallia. I love Gallia. I love this card. Nice Forest. Very good. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. There's. I just, I just said, there's fees on PayPal and stuff. Oh, well. It's whatever. I don't care. I'll eat the fees, because that's what I do. Enemy of Enlightenment. Sage of Mysteries. Devourer of Memory. And Thrix, the Sudden Storm. My camera's like super blown out. I don't like filming with this GoPro anymore because it's like the colors are just like super like saturated. I wasn't going to erase it. <laughs> Good. Alright. Dreamstalker Manticore. Heliod's Punishment, Eutropia, the Twice Favored, and Temple of Enlightenment. It doesn't matter. It it, it literally makes no difference to me. Uh, no name, senor. Uh, pause. Thank you so much for that super chat. I really appreciate it. I, my knowledge of MTG is definitely not that strong, let's be honest. I mean, my knowledge is, like, barely scratching the surface of things. Um, but I appreciate it. I appreciate it. And I appreciate you shouting my channel out as much as you do. I appreciate that as well. And yes, all of you here, if you're not looking at Paws' channel, you should definitely be doing so. Daxos, he opens up a whole bunch of products as well and does giveaways. Elspeth Nightmare, Drag to the Underworld, and Nessian Boar. Sweet removal spell. Nessian Boar, hilarious. And a foil, first foil, Nyx Born Colossus. Good old 6-7 six, for 6. Also an enchantment, to be fair. So very good in limited. Uh, in the right green deck. Careless Celebrant. This card is so good in limited. I love this card in limited. I will first pick that card all the time. It's such a good card. He has the knowledge of the janky builds. Trying to hit 500 subs? You're almost there, aren't you? Aren't you at like 400 and something? Laguna Band Storyteller. And ooh! Ooh, how about a dream trawler? I played someone. <laughs> I play. I was playing Arena earlier today, and I played someone in a draft of Theros that went turn four Elspeth. Okay, turn four Elspeth. Turn five, nothing. Uh, down ticking Elspeth minus two again. So they had four one ones. Turn six, they down. Uh, they down tick Elspeth one giving their two dudes plus two plus one. Played a second Elspeth. Second Elspeth on turn six. Down ticking it by one, giving their other two one ones plus two plus one. Swinging me for, what's that, 12 with with the one ones. At which I proceeded to, like, you know, block favorably for myself. Fine. Followed by turn seven Dream Trawler. I was just like, what? Elspeth into Elspeth into Dream Trawler. That was my opponent's plays. I, I just, I was like, hold on. Wait a minute. My opponent opened an Elspeth and then opened an Elspeth and then opened a Dream Trawler out of their three packs because there's no way those cards get passed in draft even with bots. I mean, maybe they do, but, like, the chances of you getting all three of them in one draft, like, just, I was like, okay, you win, you win, you win. I proceeded to lose that game, 
Uh, however, I did proceed to go seven and two with that draft deck, so I was like, whatever. Didn't it was like I lost that one because my opponent just had the Nutter Butter Mythic Mythic Rare play. Okay, sure. Inevitable end. Sea God Scorn. Chain Web Arachnir. And Idealic Tutor. Good rare. Ooh, another foil. Foil Slaughter Priest of Mogus. The nice swamp. First swamp of the bundle. All right. What do we got here? Hmm. Oh, oh, Field of Ruin, Rise to Glory, The Birth of Miletus, Maverin Fane, oh, that's the card we just gave away, someone got that today, Thassa's Intervention, is that what you're saying, like you need his copy that he got, Thassa's Intervention, and a foil shatter the sky, oh man, sweet, Sweet jeebus. I forgot that Maverin Fane is legendary. Whoops. It, he is indeed legendary. We've got an agonizing remorse. Fateful end. Gary! Ha <laughs> ha! Gary! Yeah, Gary. What is that? Spider? In cellophane? An enigmatic incarnation. Seated pack. Seems like it. Seems like it. Ah. Just looking to trade or buy one. Gotcha. Someone did get one today, pause. In their grab bag pull. I don't know who it was. But someone got one. I remember seeing it. I guess I'm double shattering this guy. I mean, like, if you're going to get a double of a rare... You know what's interesting? You didn't hit a mythic in this bundle. Which is interesting. No mythic. But you did get two of the of the Skylands. And you got Idealic Tutor and Shadow of the Sky, which are both seeing play in Standard. Um, and then you got a Foil Shadow of the Sky, which is also seeing play. Top left corner package, not a pre-release promo. This thing? Oh, this spider in cellophane. Ah, uh, yeah. So this is the so when you buy a bundle, you get a pack of cards. You get you get a pack of lands. There's t so there's twenty lands here that are just normal basic lands. As you can see, they're not the full art lands. For whatever reason, they were like, we're not going to do the full art lands in the bundles. Who knows why they did it? Who knows? Um, this is the package of cards that come with the bundle that have a promo in it. And then also 20 foil lands. So you get the exact same lands that are in here, only in foil. So like you get foil basics, but they're not the full art basics for whatever reason. Who knows why they did it that way? They just did. They're like, no, we remember what happened with BFZ when we put the full art lands in the packages. Everyone bought them and then resold them for $80. Yes, they did. Yeah, they've really like messed with how the fat packs work. And the fact that you call them fat packs tells me that you're old school, John. Because they don't call them, they call them bundles now. Because the fat pack is offensive, apparently. For whatever reason. I don't know. Rebranding, I guess. They wanted to rebrand it because they were like, it's time to rebrand. Uh, okay. Jonathan, where are you? You're not in this box. Which means you're in the other box. Eric, Brad, there we go. Jonathan. All right. They could have definitely made them full art, Jonathan. I agree. Like, it, it, there was literally no reason for them not to.
Okay. This is how your cards are coming to you, Jonathan, so that they fit. Okay? There you go, boom. And then we take paws out of there because paws is getting stuff as well. Wait, who was the other one? Brad? Were you the other one getting mystery packs? Let's check this. Uh, you got money. I got money? Man. All right, Paws sent me some money. Yeah. And Brad sent me some money. Okay, so Brad, you sent me that. So Brad wants three packs? Is that what I'm seeing here? Okay. Who's ready? MTG is definitely the safer bundle, I agree. Okay. Alright, pause your first. Do you have a preference? They're what? It's uh, rows of eight, right? Because it's 24, so eight, eight, and eight. Do you have a preference? Left, center, right? Top, bottom, middle. Left, third pack down. Okay, one, two, three. Okay. All right, ready? And then, uh, Brad, if you're here, um, you tell me too if you have a preference. Okay, you're up. You're on deck. So tell me if you have a preference of which three packs you want. Now I haven't opened any of this product before, so I have no idea what the order of these things is. Okay, so we've got a Suppression Bonds. So this is from Origins, it looks like. Yep, Origins. Nyx Fleece Ram, which is uncommon. Dear God. <laughs> okay, so common, uncommon. I, but this is, uh, uh, Nyx Fleece Ram is a really good card. This card is almost a dollar. Probably not so much anymore. Okay, Clutch of Currents. Oh my hey, Ninja of the Deep Hours. This is a good card. Alright. Sweet. From one of the Commander decks. Three from Random Spots. Alright. Farbog Revenant. So I'm just going to put all the commons here and then all the... Un I don't know why there was an uncommon in the second spot. Commons and uncommons are mixed. Yeah. It seems really weird though, right? Tragic Slip, another good removal spell. Two of each color. Oh, yeah, right, right, right. Two of each color. So two white, two blue, two black, two red, two green. And then, yeah, okay, right. I forgot that they did that with the weird nonsense. Two of each color. Right, right, right. Curse of Opalescence. Kolagon's Storm Singer. So, again, oh, that's another uncommon. Let's put that over here. There you go. Ooh, look at that Wellwisher. That's sweet art. I've never seen this art for this Wellwisher. That's really cool. Manglehorn. Alright, Manglehorn. A Crowan Hoplite. So, okay, we're up to three uncommons, or four uncommons now, in this pack. A Crowan Hoplite. Rogue's Passage, another uncommon. So you got five uncommons. And then your rare? 
with that. <laughs> Imperial armor. Is this just an uncommon? It should be just an uncommon, right? Or is this the rare? Hold on. What what is this? Multicolor than artifact or land. Then precon, then rare or mythic. So this isn't a rare. This is like a, a Lander Artifact, then this is a precon. Okay, so I have to say this right now. The rest of these looked okay. This card looks absolutely terrible to me. Because this friggin' thing in the bottom corner looks so out of place on this old border card. This looks so out of place. It just looks out of place. Because like all the other ones, the black goes around the edge so like it fits because they just put it, stuck it in the black section. But here, because the white goes to the corner, it's now like overlapped. They just like stuck it on. Uh. Oh my god. <laughs> Jeez. Alright. Ooh! How about a Queen Marchesa? That's pretty spicy. It's a good commander card. Very nice. That's a spicy hit, pause. Congratulations. And then this is the foil then? The foil is here? Foil Allosaurus Rider? Wow, pause, your pack, you picked so well. My goodness. So foil rare, FYI. And it's Allosaurus Rider, which is seeing play a lot. Holy moly. This pack was really good, pause. I don't know what the... Does anyone want to do a price check on Foil, Allosaurus Rider, and, and Queen Marchesa? To tell, to tell pause what he uh, what he got? Because, like, that's a... That's some heavy hitters right there, pause. <laughs> this is a heavy hitting pack. I don't know whether... Should I be sleeving these up? Do I need to sleeve some of these? I assume I probably do. Do I need to sleeve? I'm assuming I need to sleeve some of these. I know the Queen Marchesa is like, what, somewhere over $10, right? I'm fairly certain. But what's the Foil Allosaurus Rider going for? I have no idea. I assume it's going pretty high. Mainly because it's from Cold Snap, right? Does it get a perfect fit? I think the Allosaurus Rider is worth more than Queen Marchesa, just because it's foil. But I don't know. Really? Only three bucks? Okay. Okay. So it's not, like, crazy, then. I thought it was way more than that, just because it's foil. He got more than he paid for the pack. Good. Sweet. So Queen Marchesa definitely getting a sleeve. All right, there you go. Pause. Let me get that into your grab bag for you. There's your there's your bag right there. I'm going to put the pack right in there like this. And then I'll probably have to separate that into two bags, but that's okay. We'll get there when we get there. Okay. Now, no name senor said to pick packs from wherever. Just remember this now. You've told me to pick instead of picking yourself. My luck is terrible. So, uh, let's go here. We'll pull one from each row. Not an OG foil. That's true. That's true. Let's take the very bottom one off the middle row. Sure. Why not? And then pause went three down on this side. So let's go here. Uh, Sam, that's what I'm doing right now. People have asked if they could buy packs, and I said sure. Because why not? Um, so basically uh, $7 Canadian um, or $5 American. You can just PayPal me to my email. Right here. All right. All right. All right. No name, senor. Let's see what we get. Let's uh, let's put these packs over like this. Okay. <laughs> how about a, how about a path to exile? Seems good. Seems good. That's what like a seven dollar uncommon. Some nonsense. Looming altasaur. Containment Membrane, Archaeomancer, 
Fetid Imp. Grotesque Mutation. Beetleback Chief. Emrakul's Hatcher. Lignify. That's from some weird... Uh, that's from some weird deck. Priests of Titania. This is like a $3, $4 common, isn't it? I think it is. I want to say it is. It's pretty good. Roshin uh, Meander, Meanderer? Meanderer, that's the one. Millstone. Millstone's a sweet card. Misform Shrieker. Ugh. Kyra, Kyra. Sorry, man. I, I My day is going okay. We've done all the grab bags. We're now currently doing mystery boosters for people who want to buy them. To get them added to their pulls. And a Chromatic Lantern as your rare. That's a pretty good hit for the first one. Can you super chat another pack? I mean, I don't know, Pause, because super chatting another pack, and then you've got S Foil Suzuki, son of Shishiro. I have no idea what the fees are on on <laughs> on the uh, on the super chat stuff. So I have no idea how much you would have to give. I told Rick I would give him one for the ten dollars he gave me, so like I would just be like just hit if you do up another ten in super chat, then yes, I guess. I mean it would cost you less to just do the PayPal, to be honest. Cause then the money goes right to me, right? Like if you do the super chat, I don't know what I'm gonna get out of it. Like you'd be better off just PayPaling me the five, right? Like that's cause cause the super chat you gave me for six, right? If you do another four I'll, I'll count that as 10 Super Chat from you. Because you did 6 already, right? So if you did another 4 Super Chat, then I'll count that as 10. And then you could you could do it, right? But if you do the 5, you know, like 30% goes to YouTube, right? So if you do 10, I get 7, right? But then there's also fees. Like, they take money off, right? So it's it's stupid. Anyway. Yeah, you do, Kyra Kyra. Absolutely. Celestial Flare. Core Firewalker. Benthic Giant. Stitched Drake. Vampire Champion. F uh, Prakata Club Security. Tybalt's Rager. Blur of Blades. Map the Wastes. Not a lot of uncommons in this pack. Bitter Blade Warrior. Unflinching Courage. Foundry Inspector's worth a couple bucks, like about a dollar or something like that. And your rare is Belby's Portal. What the heck is Belby's Portal? I've never seen this card before. As Belby's Portal comes into play, choose a creature type. Pay three and tap to put a creature card of the chosen type from your hand into play. <laughs> wow. Okay, cool. Interesting. That's, that sounds like that could get out of hand real fast. And your foil? Wait. That's not your foil. You got two rares. You got you got double rares. Vigor is your other rare. So that was a double rare pack. Belby's Portal and Vigor. And then your foil is a foil rare. So you got a triple rare pack. Nizumi Short Fang. Foil rare. Okay. Okay. You sent me? Who is that? The one returner. Uh, hold on. Okay, so the one returner. Um, we were only doing this for patrons because I can ship it out with their Patreon stuff. Um, you have to get me your mailing address. So you'll have to email me to the same place. And chances are you'll have to... Uh, send me some money for shipping because I'll have to ship it to you. That's Sam. Who's this? Who, who, who be this one? Oh, wait a minute. It's Heather. <laughs> Okay, there we go. That makes more sense. Heather, welcome. I don't think I've ever seen your name in chat before, so there you go. 
That's why I was like, I don't know who this person is. <laughs> Welcome, Heather. Welcome. Yes. Uh, yeah, I have no problem. I got the money from you. I see it. Yeah, no worries. You didn't want to give up your chance to possibly... What, who is this? Pause. Okay. And who... Who is someone else? Who, who else? Jonathan? Dang it. Okay. So I... Uh, okay, I need to put this on another screen so that I can friggin' read all of this. Okay, who all do I owe packs to? Okay, we've got to open the last pack for Brad. Right? Then I owe one to Sam, and then I owe one to Heather, and then I owe one more to Paws, and then I owe two to Jonathan. Jonathan, you did two, right? Is that what I'm seeing here? Okay, let me do that. Okay, all right. Okay, this is Brad's last pack. Brad, let's see what you get out of your last pack. Boom. Sunborn Sentry. Felidar Guardian. Messenger Jays. Look at that weird one. It's a conspiracy card. Merfolk Looter. Nice little uncommon there. Murderous Compulsion. Crippling Blight. Valley Dasher. Zealot of the God Pharaohs. Domesticated Hydra. Imperious Perfect. Good uncommon right there. Soul Manipulation. Wirewood Lodge, that's a really good uncommon too, holy moly. Sadistic Hypnotist is also a really good uncommon, holy moly. And Angel of the Dire Hour as your rare. One of the Commander Angels. A 5 forward Flash. When enters the battlefield, if you cast from your hand, exile all attacking... Exile all attacking creatures! It's... Oh, it's settle the wreckage with a body. My goodness. And a foil grand architect? What? What are these packs? What are these packs? What? Who designed this set? What is happening right now? Okay, congratulations, Brad. You got some ridiculous stuff. Okay, so here's the question, Brad. Do you want all these commons? If not... Then I won't ship them to you. If you do want them, I will figure it out. <laughs> but I will give you... I will make sure you get the ones that are worth money. Okay. Okay. Who's, who's next? Who's next? Sam is next. Sam. Okay. Okay, let me find Brad. Hold on. We have to do... We have to keep this organized, everybody. Otherwise... Okay, there's Heather. All right, I got Heather. Where's Brad? There's Sam. Okay, we know Sam's getting one. Okay, where is Heather? No, I have Heather. Where is... Where is Brad? Brad is who I'm looking for. Dang it. There's Paws. Paws is getting another. Jonathan's getting some. Okay, Jonathan, you're just gonna... I'm just gonna leave you at the front of this box because you have a whole pile of bags already. Who, where, Brad, where be you? Brad. There's Brad. Oh, Brad already got a booster pack, too. Oh, God. Alright. <laughs> okay. You can probably do without more bulk. Okay. Keep me honest, everybody. Are there any commons in here? I, you know what? I'm just gonna scan them later and figure out. If none of these commons are worth any money, I won't send them to you. How about that? But you'll get all your rares and your foils and stuff. I don't know if I can fit this in here. Let's see. Sh shove. Sh shove! Look at, that. Look at that fat stack of stuff for Brad. Okay. These are Brad's cards. Okay. We're gonna... I'm gonna do this. Got a box here. That's Brad's. Okay. Gish. Gish darn it. Alright, Sam is next. Sam. Okay. Sam, do you have a preference? Uh, you got a booster pack of Theros. And, uh... If I remember correctly, you hit an Uro? I think? Was it Uro? I think it was Uro. There it is. How about
about an arrow? Who doesn't like an arrow? Okay. Yeah, you're right, John. Uh, that the commons are just as rare as mythics. Hey, Sam is next. Sam is the next person, but is Sam here in chat? Pause. You're 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 after Heather, I think. Is that right? Or are you before Heather? Now you're after Heather. Heather sent hers first. I'm gonna do Heather first. Okay, Sam. Are you still here? Do you care? Sam, do you care which where your pack comes from? You may pick. Roll off. Well, how many have we opened so far? We've opened four, right? So there's 20 packs. Should I just, like, lay them out? <laughs> just roll a d20? Ladies first. Listen, pause. I'm doing this in the order... I have to keep it organized so that I can make sure that I get everyone their packs that they're out. I'm doing it in the order that the emails came in, so that way I can keep track of who... Because then I can close the email that that person sent, so that way I can keep track of who's next. Don't don't go messing up my order, Paz. I appreciate you being a gentleman, but don't go messing up my order. Okay. Sam? Hmm? 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 Sam, you have to answer me. I saw you. You said "woot woot" in chat. Are you listening with a? Are you watching without sound? Dang it, Sam! <laughs> All right. If Sam doesn't pick, I'm just gonna pick one. I'm bad at picking. Okay, then I'm just gonna pick one. Let's roll. Okay, so let's do this. We'll roll a d6. One, two, three, four, five, six. This row. How many packs are in this row? Seven? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Roll a d8. Six. Sixth pack down. Got there. Look at that. We did it. We figured it out. All right, Sam. Here we go, Sam. Borrowed Grace. Paladin of the Bloodstained. Calculated Dismissal. Fairy Invaders. Infernal Scarring. Rakdos Drake. Erratic Explosion. Lightning Shrieker. Reclaim. Thrashing Brontodon. First uncommon from the pack. Coiling Oracle. Akrum Refuge. When I enter battlefield, you gain a life. Tinker. Tinker's a good one. It's pretty nice. Okay, how about a Liliana of Death's Majesty? It's not the Liliana that everyone wants, the one from, uh, whatchamacallit? Eldritch Moon, right? Still pretty nice. Pretty nice. And a foil Peely Pala, which sees play and stuff. And people are like, kind of like, this card is actually good, because it does a thing. So it untaps. Pay two and untap to add a mana. So you play this in the decks that require you to tap artifacts for other purposes so that you can then untap it to make mana. It's good times. Not a bad little pack. Not a bad little pack. There you go, Sam. I'm going to put this all right into here, like so. There it is. Sam. Done. 
Heather's next. Heather, do you care where your pack comes from? Or do you want me to roll like I did for Sam? Because I can do so. Paws already knows which pack he wants. He wants the right row, third one down. Middle, third from top. Sam. You already did your pack, Sam. You're good with the dice method? All right. So, one, two. One, two, three, four, five, six. Five again. We're on this row. And then this is only six packs now, so I'm just going to roll a d6. Six. Bottom. The bottom pack. The last pack of that row. Alright, let's see what we get. Alright, Heather. Good luck. I probably shouldn't wish you good luck because my luck is terrible. I probably just jinxed it now, right? That's how this works. Yeah, Sam. Your, your, <laughs> your messages are coming way late. I think Sam is, like, super far behind. Because we already did Sam's pack. And he's like, no, don't, uh, well, I mean, like, don't refresh, hopefully. He didn't refresh, because if he refreshes, he'll miss what his pack was. Bottom right? Yeah. Uh, dead inside, you did, in fact, guess the pack that I rolled. You did. You said bottom right, and then I rolled a five, and then a six. Oh, wow. That's it. It's okay, Sam. Don't worry. We did it. We got there. Desperate Century. Slash of Talons. Dreadwaters. Opportunity. First uncommon. Nantuko Husk. That's a great common. I love that card. Quest for the Gravelord is actually a really good card as well. Nice little zombie uncommon. Rivals Duel. Another uncommon. Young Pizzy. It's Young Pyromancer. That's like a $2 uncommon right now. Holy moly, look at all these uncommons. Snapping sail back. Greenwood Sentinel. It's making up for that last pack where we didn't open like any. Goblin Death Riders. Hey, Unclaimed Territory. That's a not a bad little land as well. Oh, look at that little bear cub. Look at that little guy. Look at that little guy. Little cutie. Dangerous, but cute, you know. It's, uh, it's from, like, the starter set, so it's got, like, even, like, the dagger and the shield so that you know the power and toughness. Uh, these cards are great. I love, like, these old school sets where it's, like, you know, it's got, like, all the explanation stuff. So I don't know if this, I'm assuming this is, like, your, like, ancillary card or whatever, and so then your rare is next. There you go. An adorned pouncer. A, a decent rare. Not really worth a whole heck of a lot, but it's a really good rare. Oh, how about a foil 8th edition, so therefore black bordered, Zer's Weirding, which is a rare. So I don't know what that's going for, but I know that the foils from 7th and 8th edition are more expensive because they were black border instead of white border. Um, that's really cool. 8th uh, edition, 4 mana enchantment for 3 and a blue. Players play with their hands revealed. If a player would draw a card, he or she reveals it instead. Then any other player may pay 2 life. If they do, uh, put that card into its owner's graveyard. Otherwise, that player draws the card. Cool. That's kind of neat. What's my favorite foil land besides unsets? I don't know. I mean, like, I... That's a... That's a loaded question, pause. Um... I just like foil lands in general, whether they're from unsets or not, right? Whether they're full art or not. Like, I just love the aesthetic of... Was Portal Second Age? Ah, Verville. Welcome. And thank you. Yeah, so, like, I thought it was the starter one, but the starter one's actually a star, right? I was I was wondering about that when I was looking at it. I was like, it looks like a star, but it's not quite. Very cute. So, congratulations, Heather. Uh, you got a pretty sweet foil rare from 8th edition, which is pretty nice. You mean that one down there? That one that one over there off off camera? I actually bought four of them. 
Um, the plan is is to uh, I'm gonna keep one for myself, maybe two for myself sealed, and then I'm probably gonna do some stuff with the other two. Spoilers. I'm not gonna tell you what because that's spoilers. <laughs> Pause. This row, third down, right? Uh, well, plains is probably my first love. Like white is my white is the color that I grew up on, um, playing like life gain decks and that kind of stuff. So any kind of white land is fine. Pause. I will I will cherish it and love it. All right, pause. Let's see what you got. These mystery boosters seem really weird. <laughs> they seem like a great product uh, from the aspect of playing. You have a boss mono white uh, token deck. Nice. Yeah, I'm definitely an Orzov player. Pause. Like, that's just what I... I'm. Or Orzov is my color. I actually have the Orzov t-shirt. I got the uh, the Obey shirt that has the Orzov symbol on it. I, I bought that at the last uh, Magic Fest in Toronto. Glaring Aegis. A Johnny's Pride Mate seeing play in standard by me right now. I play this card in standard. Uh, Flash Freeze. Castaway's Despair. Zulaport Chain Mage. Eternal Thirst, Bellows Lizard, Defiant Ogre, Arbor Armament, Ferocious Z Zeng, Ferocious Hang. I don't know. What, do you pronounce the Z or the H? I don't know. I have no idea what this symbol is. Yeah, I know. They're meant to be drafted. I'm actually thinking... So I bought a bunch of boxes of this not to open for the channel. I bought a bunch of boxes. One, to do this type of thing, like giveaway to patrons and stuff. Or like, you know, open it on channel with people who want to buy it, basically. That kind of thing. Um, and then I, I have three more boxes that I purchased. Um, I'm planning to do like a... I, at least I'm hoping anyway. Like to do like a... A sealed... World Japanese Dual Deck. That's super weird. Thank you for the information. It's a shh kind of sound. Ferocious Sheng. Weird. Grim Contest. Implement of Malice. Ooh, Yavamaya's Embrace as your rare. One of my favorite cards growing up. Back in the day. Uh, from the Global Series, yeah. Yavamaya's Embrace was a hilarious card back in the day because it gives... So it's a steel card, but it's spliced with green, so it pumps it by two and gives it trample. So you take their thing and then make it plus two plus two. Thanks, I'm dead. Ooh, and a Michaeloth. There you go. Michaeloth's a nice rare as well. Is there another card here? There is. And a Foil Harmonic Sliver. Wow. Uh, Harmonic Sliver is actually really good, isn't it? Isn't this one of the ones that people s go after? I think it is, because it has the, when it comes into play, destroy target artifact or enchantment. Um, so it has, like, an enter the battlefield effect, which is pretty bonkers. Um, anyway, foil copy of that, pretty sweet. Not too shabby. There you go, pause. Congratulations. All right. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Not as not quite as spicy as your first pack, pause, but that's okay. Do any of you guys have a sliver deck? Yes, I have a sliver commander deck. I have a sliver EDH deck. I didn't build it. I purchased it from someone when they sold their collection to me. $5 USD on Card Kingdom? Nice. Yeah, so there you go. It's pretty sweet. So there you have it, everybody. I think that's everybody, right? I don't I didn't miss anybody. Oh, Jonathan. Ha! Huh. Jonathan. I can't forget Jonathan. He's last. He came in last. Two packs. There we go. That makes more sense. Now, Jonathan, you want me to roll, right? You said? Y 
You know what? No name, senor. Um, so like for me too, like I think the biggest letdown for me is that I wanted to draft the convention edition of mystery boosters and now I won't be able to. And chances are CFB will go, Oh look, we have all these extra boxes now because we canceled these events. So we're going to just run them at the next event. So then some places will end up getting to do them again because they got to do them already this year or last year when they first introduced them. Right. Uh, and so then they'll get a second event of the convention boosters. And then some places like Toronto or some of the ones that are getting canceled now won't get any. And that sucks. That sucks hard because like there's going to be players that can't go to those other ones that then miss out on that opportunity, right. To play that cool convention center packs. Right. And I mean, they put the convention center or the convention only booster packs up on card kingdom. I saw them and then the boxes were like a thousand dollars or some nonsense. And I was like, what? I was like, how much for a box? Was it a thousand or was it like 300 or $400 or some nonsense? And I was like, no, 24 packs for that much money. Forget it. Forget it. It's not, it's not even worth it. Roll the dice. All right. Roll the D six. One, two, three. All right, and how many packs we got left? You're getting two packs, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We need a D8. Here's a D8. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Boom. All right, roll the D6 again. Four. Same row. There's only six packs left, so we'll roll the D6 again. Two. One, two. Boom. Here we go. At first, they were like $700,000 US. Yeah, it's like cr absolutely crazy. You opened up a ton of uh, Modern Horizons and didn't get a run in six. That sucks. I hate when that happens. That's why, that's why most people, like Professor and all those other channels and stuff, will tell you, you should just buy the singles you want. Don't try to open them. Right, if you're if you're trying to get specific singles, you should always just buy them. It's gonna be cheaper every time. I open product because I enjoy opening product. It has nothing to do with trying to get specific cards. Well, that's not necessarily true, but like, <laughs> I'm like the worst example. Put it that way, because I'm trying to complete my sets from everything ever by opening. It's just like a weird personal achievement that I've put on myself of like all of my sets that I have that are filled out are cards that I physically opened myself. So I'm like a bad, I'm a bad example. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's true, Virvel. I mean, like, you're you're not wrong. I mean, like, it's it's not... I'm not saying that they shouldn't have canceled the events. I'm just saying, like... I think, like, from my opinion, like, basically, what they should be doing is if they're canceling the events and they had the product set aside for those events, they should be holding on to it until next year when those events come up again and are no longer canceled, right? As opposed to releasing them at other ones that have already had access to them. Do you see what I'm saying? So, like, rather than letting the product be back at, you know, whatever happens in September to November this year, right? Um, if those events had it already, they shouldn't get it again until some of the other events that got canceled get a chance to have the opportunity. Now, that's holding on to the product for a long time. It's just that I know that they're not going to do it, right? They're going to actually just go, and they're just going to keep going until the product runs out. And then the events that didn't get to fire because of all of this stuff going on right now just are, you know, SOL, basically. Which sucks, but hey, what can you do? Not even toilet paper? It's panic mode? Yeah. It's crazy. Collecting the hard way is absolutely correct, John. Collecting the hard way is exactly what I'm doing. Alright, isolation zone. Fencing ace. Decision paralysis. Archetype of Imagination. That's a good uncommon. Weight of the Underworld. Oh, snap! It's Gary! Ha <laughs> ha! Gary! Common Gary. Not uncommon Gary. Common Gary. That's right. 
Technically, Gary is like an uncommon. He falls in the gray area. Blind Blast. Krenko's Command. Mantle of Webs. Rancor. It's a good uncommon. There you go. Worth about a buck. Bear's Companion. Alchemist's Vile. It's like a weird looking... Ooh! A Lotus Petal from Tempest? That's pretty sweet. I don't know what that's sitting at these days, but it's like... Probably a... It's gotta be like, what, five to six bucks minimum, I would guess? It's a sweet card. Has it gone up? Maybe it's gone up and I just don't know. But yeah, it's a very good card. Five bucks? Alright, there you go. Stunt Double, there's another rare. So that's two rares, then, basically. Oh! Oh! Foil Intruder Alarm. Isn't this card worth a whole bunch? I feel like it was. It might not be now because of the reprint from this, but, like, this card was worth a whole bunch of money. Nice. That's that's awesome, Paws. Foil Intruder Alarm is, like, bonkers. Very good card. There you go, Jonathan. Very nice. Still worth a bit? Nice. Hey, look, it's Mother of Runes. Remember that rare that's actually an uncommon? I remember it. That makes sense, Paws. Well, starting strong with two uncommons. Mother of Runes and then Darksteel Mutation. Hinterland Drake. Whiplash Trap. Revenant. Wrench Mind. Reckless Worm. Cosmotronic Wave. Dragon Scarred Bear. Or, yeah, Dragon Scarred Bear? Yeah. Aura Gnarled! Man, I love Aura Gnarled. $16 USD is still really good, John. I mean, like, considering uh, Jonathan paid, what, $7 for this pack, getting a $16 foil rare is pretty good. It's pretty good. Or a Narlid. That's a common. Warden of the Eye. Hey, it's a Reliquary Tower. But yeah. Yeah. Reliquary Tower, very good uncommon. Eater of Days! I remember when this card came out and I was like, what? A 9-8 for 4 mana? What? And then I was like, skip your next two turns! Dear God. Look at that. Eater of Days is a great card. I love this card. Just because it's so ridiculous. Playing this in an extra, extra turns deck... Right? Like, where you're like, I get six extra turns, and then you're like, I drop Eater of Days. Okay, I skip two of my six extra turns. Now I take my third turn. Murder you with a 9-8 Flying Trample. Oh. Huh. Yeah, okay. Commit to memory. And a foil Scrib Ranger. Isn't Scrib Ranger a good card, too? It's good with Laz It's true, it is good with Lazav. I didn't even think about that, John. You are absolutely correct. That is amazing with Lazav. I think my wife is pinging me. I can hear the G chat going off. You'd rather have three of these boxes than a Master's box? I mean, I guess that's true. They're basically like the new Master's boxes, I guess, right? Let's see. Yes, we have it downstairs, don't we? Yes. Jonathan, I think you did pretty good. I don't know what this foil Scrib Ranger comes out at, but uh, you got a Lotus Petal, a foil Intruder Alarm. You got a Mother of Runes, a Rancor, a Reliquary Tower, an old school Gary. Some good stuff. 
Some good stuff. Now I gotta figure out how to fit all this into your grab bag. Because you already have like a huge one. And now I'm gonna have to figure out how to fit it all in here. Okay, well. It all goes in here for now. And I'll work it out when I go to mail it. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Did we get everybody? I think we got everybody, right? Holy moly. And then you can you can see my shirt. There it is. Pew pew pew. Haha. <laughs> my wife bought me this shirt and she's like, You like Star Wars? And I'm like, I do like Star Wars. And she's like, There you go. And I'm like, it says pew 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 on it. I love you. <laughs> Star Wars! Well, I think we're done for the night anyway, MTG Hermit, because I've been streaming for two, almost three hours now. My goodness. Um, I'm not going to open the rest. I'm not going to open it right now. Because... I've been live for almost three hours, and it is 11.30 my time, and I need sleep. I'm tired. I'm very tired. So... Have a great night, everybody. Again, I apologize, all of my patrons, for the delay in the patron grab bags going out this month. Um, hopefully, I should have them in the mail tomorrow. If I don't get them in the mail tomorrow due to other things going on and getting in the way, then they should be in the mail this weekend at least. So, uh, hopefully, you should see them in a week or two at the latest, I would hope. Do you get them just in time for me to pull next month's grab bags, right? That's... Huzzah! Anyway, have yourselves a wonderful night. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I've been your host, Mr. Rivers. And as always, may your pulls ever be better. <laughs>